It is Thursday. We're actually a minute early. Let's be honest. I we're feel so like we're really punctual. I don't know if our volume's all the way up, so let's see. It's not. Okay. But I gotta get you in there. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do the airplane thing. Do let's do that. On do not night, disturb. Nighttime, yeah. Don't want to get any of those sextings right. from your husband. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Whoops, excuse you. <laughs> Does it feel weird? I put our, I opened a window for us too, Joe. It feels weird. We're nice. gonna get a breeze. Because we're dressed in. Because we're dressed in wool. Hello. I gotta Good take morning, my... good morning. Hello from St. Albert. Hello neighbor down the street, kinda, not too far. Hello from Brazil, what? I bet you it's kind of warm there. What's this? Good morning star, coloring book yarns. Is it really? Yes. It's one of my faves. <clears throat> I hoard. I got a crank. I got a crank and, and make socks. I forgot lip gloss. <sighs> it's like you I don't even have one to share for you. It's like you ice the cake, but you forgot to put the sprinkles. Right. Right. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to leave this, now. It's the real you. Okay, you guys. We only put on lip gloss once a week. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> I was excited to come back again one week later. Jody, what I don't, is wrong with you? I know. It's so close. Are we too close? No, like it's so oh, soon. It is so soon. I'm always excited, but I have significantly less knitting to share. That's not true, actually. I'm lying. I've already lied. I've already lied. You have knitting. I have, I finished a sweater. How could I have significantly less knitting? And she's knit these two. What the hell have you been doing with your time <sighs> all summer? Okay, so somebody said no lip gloss. Yeah. They're out of here. I, I would blame too. you. I yeah. don't blame you. Delete. Unsubscribe. I, I fully support that. I'll see you next um, time. <laughs> okay. I took Madison. Oh, first day of high school today. Jody, that's crazy. I wasn't emotional sad. I was emotional excited. I can't believe she's 15. That is a... That is a... Milestone. Life, yeah, like a life milestone to go to high school. High school is a big deal. All the school that all of our kids went to. Yeah, we went to. We we, we went, went to. to. And God. all the teachers. Old people in our neighborhood went to. Like, it's an old, old, old school. Yeah. Terry was one of the first classes there. No. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm, wow. I'm pretty sure. All the teachers, I'm sure we had are dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's that long ago. No, because one comes to garden shop every year. Oh, yeah. So, no, they're not dead. Anyway, we just thought they were really old. They weren't. Something I'm super impressed with, Madison, is that she's like, it's just high. Like, I said, did you want to get a friend? Like, she's like, I don't need, like, she switched in junior, in elementary to junior high with not knowing anyone. Like, she was like, I'm, not, I'm excited. I'm not, she doesn't get nervous like I get nervous. Right. I just expect people, she was like bouncing like, off the walls. we frame it from our perspective. I guess that's right. And I was like Madison. I used to get really excited to go to school. My kids, more Not like so you. Yeah. So it really switched things for yes. me. So, but I do think, I think I must have been nervous to go to that school. I mean, you must have jitters. Even though you had your little group of friends from your smaller junior high. Yeah. This was a much bigger school. Georgia, is that you? Georgia. Georgia, we're podcasting. Um, that there, the classes were so big, you were not guaranteed to see any familiar faces. Right. So, and we really didn't. But that was also the time that I met, to this day, one of my best friends ever Did by you? going to high school, Jocelyn in grade ten. Yes. So, you know, now and we're same with Susan, my friend Susan, fifty-two-year-old ladies that oh, met babies. when we were sixteen, and we still feel ridiculous. Like we still feel. Stupid Don't you and feel 16. 24 Oh my you... gosh. Like that's half the battle. All right? those crazy things we used to do. So this is a big day. I hope Maddie yeah. has okay. she's gonna have a great time. Great week, great I... time. And I know you did this a long time ago, and everyone picks and chooses where they, you know, help out and where they not. I told her I'm not making a lunch ever. Jody. In high school. Who are you? Right. <laughs> For some reason, that was just something I did in the morning when my kids are getting ready. I would up until this past year set Maddie a lunch every day. It's funny because it's not like I'm a hard ass. No. But you, way before me, made your kids do their own laundry. Yes. So it's, it's just funny. like, it's come funny. on. Like, we're, yes. We're like nurturers. We're happy to do these things for our kids. But our job, let's remember, is to prepare these kids for the real world. I wouldn't call That's it, our yes. job. And I feel like in areas like that, I am, it's not my strength. No. Yeah. I know what you mean. And I just think something like, you know what? 
figure it out. Let me know what you like to eat in your lunch. Let me know. I will make sure it's in the fridge. I said that. You would have been really proud. I I'll just let me fridge. know because you really don't know what they want. Or, you know, maybe one day a week she wants to buy, I don't know if they have, they probably don't have the cafeteria open. That I'm not sure. But you know, it's right across the street. They have a new little I Edo. She's really going to want Edo every day. And right across the street, they they still have the food court in the mall. Yeah. So, so she can figure it out for herself. I love that. Jordan never took lunch when she started high school. There you go. Yeah. So there that, you go. That was that That's another morning. thing. Jody. Yeah. I'm not only shocked, but impressed. I mean, it wasn't a difficult decision because I really, I think, how hard is it for me to make a lunch? But then I think I'm not doing her any favors. You're not doing her any favors and you do a lot of shit all day long. A lot. I make you the dinner. You don't need to spend 10 more minutes yes. doing that. I make dinner every day. Right. So she can take 10 minutes off her phone and come make her lunch if that's she chooses. I, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. And guess and what? She's she a good kid. She'll she, do, she'll yeah. have no issues with that. Guess what she starts her day with? What? What is ceramics? That? Everyday pottery. Pottery. What? First class is pottery every day. But she is. I've, so that's an, its own class. That's not art. No, it's separate. Wow. And then she's full IB. So we'll see how that goes. That's going to be a heavy schedule. You, you know what? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. And she's grade ten is great because you do get your fee a feeling for like. Did I make the right choices? What do I want to adjust? Because yeah. you do have to think ahead two years. Yes. To applying Actually, to wherever you, you want to go. you have to think ahead for grade 11. Right. Because that's when you start applying and you have to show. I mean, obviously. But even just scheduling your classes. Yes. If you need something that has all the sciences, you need to start yes. at the 10 level to get the 20, She's 30. taking 10 and 20 and physics. She's taking 10 and 20 this year and physics. Good 10. for her. Um, and she's already told us she's not staying here for university. Great. It is great. I'm not sure. That's great. I mean, it's always great to have like an adventure. I don't know why she automatically. I have to say, when you start looking at tuition rates for out of province, that it goes crazy. So Let me she, tell you. Yeah. So That's what she has in her mind. It's traveling and wanting to do things away is awesome. I would never want to squelch that sure. in someone. But there's also a practicality. We have an amazing university here. But uh, world renowned. It's and an amazing university. I'm just happy. I'll be happy when somebody goes to post secondary, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Everybody's gonna choose their own path. Yeah. I love that she's got plans. She's already thinking of things. She can get scholarships. She can there's ways to offset these things. If she really wants to go to university in Vancouver. Oh no, she was thinking Ontario. Get planning. Oh, really? Well, that's um, awesome too. Sorry, Mac Mackenzie was just texting me. She's there at work. Um, okay, and I have another huge story. Jody. We are going to get to knitting, but this is, you know, I you know. pride myself to think that I'm not that gullible. And so when I... Really? Not that gullible. That's okay. why I said no, that no, no, no. gullible. Okay, like, okay, I see where you're going. Yeah, I agree. I got an email which looked totally legit from Instagram. It said copyright at Instagram and then something else. Like I don't just willy nilly click on links. You it's, and it had the, in, like, so I clicked on the link and it showed a picture of me and my new hat and it said something about copyright. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know copyright. Right. And it said, if you want to contest this or you disagree that this is what this is, click on this link and sign into Instagram. <gasps> it was signing into an, it was, it was giving them, it was like, a total like facade and I signed in with my password. So they had it. My Instagram was stolen. They changed the name and changed the password. I don't know if anyone saw that for one I half a day. I see that. And so in my Instagram, they took out my, my Instagram, Mrs. Brown's bag picture. It was a really long name. They switched it to, and it said to sell this back, go to WhatsApp. And there was a phone number texting with, I was texting with this guy. He wanted me to buy Bitcoin to oh, pay him. This is awful. I feel like I was negotiating hostage release. So what happened? I'm like, I ended up saying, he was like, I, I said, I'll, I'll pay you a hundred bucks. And he's like, I, and I said, I'm not doing Bitcoin. And it was a little bit of back and forth. And I finally just said, fuck you. Cause he's, what happened? he wanted $400 in Bitcoin. And I ended up paying him. I ended up paying him a hundred dollars paypal and he gave it back to me but let me tell you it he was, gave it back to you yep and i quickly 
changed everything back and it's now it's back mrs brown's bag you it's change my all your account. paypal information changed too? all my paypal information and all that jody that's so but I, was, my heart's kind of pounding Tracy, that's scary it was awful like i have all this thread from whatsapp obviously you can't trace and nothing, nothing can be traced it didn't look like instagram you can't help me trace with it with whatsapp isn't he no. isn't that a phone number and it said on there like it is encrypted this thing is it it was and then i go this is a great thing because everybody gets those shitty emails I've had them from Apple. It's not really Apple. It's Apple, right? But if you they go want in, you to sign yes. it. It's if you go into those funny and then you go into what it says Apple and you see the email and it's like crazy weird. You know it's not. This was copyright at Instagram dot something. Like it looked so legit. But then I go searching on Google and yeah, it's a fucking thing. And the only way they were gonna do it is to set they sell it back to you. So the guy made a hundred US dollars off me. But I just thought to myself, I Jody, can't just, first awful. thing I wanted to do was say, fuck you, have it. I'll just do another one, right? right. But I think it was like, I, he just wanted a little bit of money out of you, right? I was Jody, so, that's horrible. I wasn't upset. I was pissed at myself for falling for it and fucking pissed that you, you felt dirty. Yeah. Like extorted. That's yeah. exactly that what that was. That is what happened. Yes. Jody, that's a horrible story. That was my story. That was yesterday. No, Tuesday. And I didn't tell you because I wanted to, like, I wanted to have something to show here. But isn't that I, awful? Yes, it's awful. And I mean, it's just like the horrible phone calls you get where they're saying, you know, you're going to go, we're going to take you to jail. This is the Canada Revenue. It's never, ever, you're never going to be notified by a computer message on your phone. Don't ever believe yes. that stuff. But these these email ones, maybe they're just more, you know, easier to think that. Yeah. I've had that uh, where there was an Apple one and it was like sign. I clicked on the link and then it said sign in. It was looked weird and I never mm. did sign in. Thank goodness. Because mm -hmm. really, like your credit cards linked to your, app, like it could be. It's a huge hassle. Yes. Do you hassle. know what else happened once? Not too long ago, in the last six months, I clicked on a link that I was texted. Something Don't do about that. pay for. I had phone calls from fucking Russia on the loop every three minutes for about eight hours. And every time I blocked it, the next new number, the next new number, it was like a loop. You guys. It makes you mad. It really, there's yes. people that are like, I don't want an iPhone and I don't want it. Like sometimes I think <laughs> you're right. Kind of a good decision. Yes. Jody, that's crazy. Yeah. Like insane. Yeah. I'm glad it was over fairly quickly. It's funny because the text that's what thing. She said. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Um, I it was like pay your import fees. Right. Like how do you how right. I, I don't know how you would have not done that. I don't know either, Jody. Anyway. I don't know. Let's move And on to every time nice. every time I get those texts, I I think the same thing. Do you have something nice to share? <laughs> My mind is like spinning. Do I have something nice to share about my life? Does mom know we're podcasting? I told her yesterday. Okay, 10. What's that? Oh my God. Um, Jody's got beautiful yarn here to share very soon. Uh, Two-factor authentication. Correct a mundo. If you ever what have. What does that mean? It means that if you somebody wants a link or you're supposed to sign in, they'll sometimes send a, an authentication code to, to your phone. phone. And you have to put that in. Good. So anytime something comes to you and says, turn on two-factor authentication, Do I've that. done that. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm on Jordan. Wow. <gasps> and also, I learned the hard way. Always make your recovery mail, email, like an uh, like a Gmail or something that's like not linked to your... Like we changed providers for our email and phone and stuff. Yeah. So I don't have oh. access to that email anymore. And yet it's recovery email... For yes. a couple of things, and this one thing won't let me change it. That's frustrating. So it's frustrating and stupid, mm -hmm. if we're being honest. So, I mean, always do a Gmail for your recovery yeah. email for things. Right. Things you've learned the hard way. Uh, oh, my God. This week, it's just gone by in a blur. It's been great. It's been you guys, good. It's sweater weather here. It's sweater weather. It poured rain yesterday. Made me want to do nothing. <sighs> it is just dark all day. Yeah. Um... Now, I've been really, that's what happened this week. I've just been really busy. Things yes. have just been 
uh, happening and it's been very good. Yeah. And life's been good, but busy. I um, have a new sweater. Have a new sweater. Finished a sweater on the weekend. So that was really fun. Yeah. It's crazy that, and it happens every year. It's almost like a little bit of a, like an instant, like summer hot is gone. Here comes fall. Well, here in Alberta, other yeah. people get like seasons. We yeah. get like <laughs> blink and you miss it. Yeah. I hope this means we get a nice long fall. We could. We right? could. Like I hope it's, you know, quite a while because it's my favorite. Yeah. Um, I'm not mad at the weather. I love it. Yeah. I totally love it. Yeah. My plants, I, my garden's still growing. I'm still picking tomatoes, which is great. You have like a freak cucumber. Jody, it's so gross. I, so Did I'm you like, slice it? No. You have to. <laughs> I'll slice it and see what the shape it is. It's like two were hanging so close on the vine that they grew together. So it's like this. You have conjoined cucumbers. It is conjoined. But at the same time, it's kind of off put it. Like it's the weirdest shaped it is. double cucumber. That. Yeah. But it's been good. And then I watched this video of these nice Italian ladies, a grandma, a mom, and a daughter who was like 20, harvesting their tomatoes and out on their patio making their tomato sauce and jarring it. Does that appeal to you? Oh, I'm totally going to do that. Like I have, and they used cherry tomatoes and plum tomato. They used everything. I am the one, I love tomatoes. You love the canning. most. You like canning. Right, but I also think it would be fun to try and see what the I sauce would taste like. Then you have it all year, all winter. Well, I'll have a, couple, a, base. Of, a couple of jars, right? That's it? Well, I don't have... Oh, yeah, you like, don't you have... Need yes. pounds and pounds yes. and kilos and kilos and kilos. But it's fun. I like that stuff. I have a little food meal that I bought, never used. You could go to the market. Yeah, I could. And get some tomatoes. I could. I love those Italian families that grow like a whole patch of yes. tomatoes and then they Just make sauce for, for the yes. year. Yes. So I always buy it. I buy Tasty Tomato. We have a really good um, <clears throat> family restaurant really close. And every time we go get takeout, which yeah. isn't a ton, but I buy a couple of, of jars. And I I imagine it's a family re old family recipe. Yeah, I would think so. Basically tomatoes. That's all it looks like. I see Shelby and Gigi are in the house. Hello, ladies. Are your toes warm today? Did they get all that horrible rain, New York oh. area, you guys? We've got fires, floods, and people fleeing home. It has been crazy these God, days. I've been watching the weather, and it's unrelenting in the south there. we I, would, I was thinking about all the families that it's are dispersed crazy. without power. Um, we are thinking about you Absolutely. guys. It's Our awful. hearts are going out to yeah. all. There's a lot of ugh, struggles happening right now, so... Judas canned 500 jars so far. Judy, you're my hero. I love it. I wonder how much... I mean, the thing is, like, I did a batch of... My first batch of pickles, and it turned out a little bit bitter. So it made me a little bit bitter. <laughs> Tracy, I'm bringing you my pickles. Yeah, mom said, Jody's pickles were amazing. And I was like... So I did get a great recipe, a tried and true okay. family recipe. Did you try it? No, because then you got to get the right cucumbers, yes. right? It's all like you get the, all the right thing. It's a thing. But Jody, I would love your pickles. I yeah. love I didn't actually pass pickles. them along because you had made them. Okay, they were just okay. Do didn't it? thrill me. They okay. were just okay. My starter husband. Do you remember years ago Aunt Diane's pickles? No, but I. That's the kind of recipe you need, Tracy. It's got a touch of brown sugar, which kind of put me off. Yeah. It's got a tablespoon of brown sugar, so I did. A batch with one tablespoon of brown sugar and one without. And? The brown sugar is by far the best. No way. And you know what's really amazing? You just put the things in each jar. Right. Okay. I did my first batch. I, well. I didn't know. That's I, how my recipe okay. was too. Amish canning cookbook. Yes. <gasps> Tracy. Don't let me forget that. Um, but these Auntie Diane pickles. So it's good. An old Ukrainian. Is it sour at all? Oh, damn. I'm dropping you off pickles today. Okay. So I love... I even sweet pickles. I love them like on tuna. Like I like yes. pretty much all pickles, but these ones were a touch bitter. They're not didn't love bitter. What made them bitter? I actually think it was the cucumbers. Okay, I do think it was the cucumbers. Yeah. But wow, we've been talking a long, long time without really talking about knitting. But you guys, and I, we never introduce ourselves. We feel like all of our friends that come back know who we are. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for being here, yeah. live or later. Um, it really is so much for fun. Pierogies, nothing yes. better. Oh, I know. Yeah. My mom yeah. makes my mom. Where you, we are Ukrainian. Yeah. Half on my dad's side. Uh, there's not a Ukrainian carb we are not familiar with. 
my and or make. Has, my mom goes above and beyond since Bubba doesn't do it anymore. Obviously, she's passed away, but it had been a few years she hadn't done it. Right. She got to an age. It was just too much. Yeah. yeah. My mom has perfected Nachinka, yeah. this fluffy souffle, the cornmeal. Yeah. She does your own cat pierogies, cabbage rolls. Um, B-top cabbage mm -hmm. She is... Mom is an outstanding cook. Yeah, she really is. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. And she'll I'll, say, oh, you're such a good cook. I'm like, Mom, you are the good yeah. cook. She puts a lot... You are a good cook. You do take after she's her that way. She's totally... But she's she'll be doing the fussy fiddly she does. things that take forever. I like food to be ready in thirty minutes. Me too. She does all the jamming. She does all that stuff. Anyway. Yeah, she does. Um, she's amazing. We are very very lucky. She's the best. Now I'm hungry. Starving. Um. Okay. So can I share my fo? What, what this fo? Just this though. Thing? This old thing. So I've been working on. This is the Night Bloom sweater by Espace Tricot. I'll do a little model. It's a top-down circular yoke. It's kind of cropped. Little bound off the with the black. All the bind offs are in yep. mohair. The color work is in mohair. Uh, it is their DK Sunday morning, Sunday morning DK yarn. That's their it's special. Incredible. It's so good. Mm -hmm. um, I loved making this. This little um, my only modification was a few rows of ribbing up the top. It's quite an elegant. The way they have it in the pattern, it's just yeah. really clean. I wonder... So nothing there? I, nothing. Like, you just cast on and start okay. knitting, and it's super clean. I love that, too. Um, would I change anything about... I actually knit it exactly to pattern. Oh. By accident. I thought that I would add more length to the body, and I bound off when we were on our car trip, and I wasn't... I mean, I don't think it was easy to measure mm -hmm. when you're yes. in the car. So I... So it's sort of like the length of my love note. It's a little cropped. I, -ish. I mean, it's not something maybe you're used to, so you're feeling funny. Yeah. It's amazing. Do you audience. like it? Because yes. I actually have already thought, geez, maybe I'm going to add some. Wear it a few times and decide. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I do wear like a little bit of a tank top that's a little yes. bit longer. And that I makes mean, me feel better. Okay, good. Well, maybe I'll just leave it then. Yeah. Because I don't want every sweater being exactly the right. same in my closet. That's kind of nice. This yarn is wooly it's non-superwash so it feels like wool but not scratchy but next to skin soft i think so. i think i think so um i had a ball knitting it the pattern is perfect 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 i'm obsessed with this really modern isn't it pretty um pattern so if you wanted to try this um they do have a hat pattern no the night blooms hat i'm knitting that is first so it's the exact same motif They've done the hat, I think, last year. The This color work is two strands of mohair or DK weight yarn. You could use whatever you want. I think maybe I'll take... You... We'll talk about this, but you held a fingering with a mohair. Two mohair. Two mohair. Two mohair, two mohair and a okay. sock yarn. A thin, like, 75, yes. 25 okay. sock yarn. Oh, that's good to know. And I actually thought that that was perfect. Yeah. That really matched the gauge... For that yarn. I was so, so glad that I could wear this sweater today. <laughs> so you give this a 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Their ten patterns are beautifully ten. written. Um, one thing that I would be careful of is this little section where you're doing one and one color work. Can get tight. I feel like it's very easy to make that as snug and have it pull in. So just be really careful. I definitely went up a needle size for my color work. And I was really careful on these, these rounds to make sure my stitches were spread out on my right hand yes. needle so that you're not having little teeny floats pulling things in. I think that would make it look funny. And do you do you see these two sweaters and go, oh my God, I knit these two sweaters? No, this summer? I think what beautiful patterns and beautiful yarn. Like I'm always amazed by your knitting. It's so what? beautiful. Jody. I mean, you I mean no, I mean I don't yes, pick hard any, stuff, right? I know, but um, I, these are really beautiful. I mean, these are two sweaters, like they're, to me, when it's this gorgeous panel of color work and this beautiful neutral color, it's just beautiful. Well, thanks. But I do honestly think the pattern obviously has tons to do with it and color choice. Yeah. Like if this was a color, if this was maybe a bright purple and you weren't a purple person, it wouldn't look the same to me. Like this black color work. I wear a lot of black pants, black mm -hmm. shoes, black whatever. I'll this will make you look for me put together because this it'll kind of all go. And it's got that favorite sweatshirt shape of sweater, 
right? Yes. And they, it's next to, you guys, even though it's non superwash, I mean, we're, we're starting to sound like a broken record with this Sunday morning yarn. It's that beautiful. Well, it's that If you beautiful. love non superwash wool and you've had an experience where you call it scratchy or toothy or whatever, um, I would try it. I would, I would buy a skein, yeah. knit it, and wash your swatch because that's what your finished garment's going to feel like. Yeah. I wish more yarn shops did that. I wish more yarn shops would do a swatch in a rustic, more rustic yarn and wash it so that people would get a chance to feel what it's, it changes the a end lot. product. Yeah. So I think if, you know, if yarn shops were into that, I just think you would maybe turn some people that weren't, aren't sure about that type of yarn. Um, and somebody said, can I talk about going up a needle size for the color work? Mm -hmm. My swatch was both of these, a uh, so stockinette portion and a color work portion. Okay. And color work just by its own nature, when you're running floats behind stuff, it can tighten up. Yes. Right? It's pretty common for a lot of people to have that. And instead of being worried about it or fussing with it while I'm knitting it, for me, going up one needle size keeps my gauge the same. I agree. So I start with my gauge size needle. I go through the color work and change up one size, and then I go back to my gauge Don't size. Don't forget needle. to go back. I've done that. <laughs> Cause that. So that's what I do. But honestly, swatching is your friend. You and I were talking about this the other day. I'm loving I never... Tracy, I would never think that I would ever say I love to make a swatch. Right. And somebody said their color work is always too loose. So maybe you would have to go down a needle. Like, yeah. who knows? That is what a swatch will tell you. Mm -hmm. I do love swatching. And I Because like, I don't think to myself, oh, I'm going to start my sweater today. It's like I'm swatching today and then tomorrow is sweater yes. day. So you have to factor yeah. in that. And I always think... It's a fun way, especially if it's a yarn, a new color of yarn, or you're going to do a little bit of the color work yeah. in your swatch too. It's kind of fun to start that and see what's going to happen. I think so. Yeah. I really think so. And maybe you hate knitting mohair for color work. So a swatch will let you know that before you've cast on all these stitches or have to pick back. Yes. Right? Because yes. it's two strands. You've got to make sure you pick both strands. Like, it's... It's tiny bit fussy. I wouldn't even call it really fussy, but mm -hmm. just have to make sure you get both strands. Because guess what? I've knit a sweater without a swatch thinking, I got this. Right. And guess what? The sweater was too small. Yeah. Listen, if I could get away with never doing a swatch, I would be getting away. I would try and do that. But I've failed more than once. Yeah. And I just resigned to the fact that it's a necessity. And, but I mean, I have to admit... As soon as I finish this, I think to myself, yes, now I know my gauge on this needle with this yarn. So I could just pick the yarn and the needle, same yarn, same needle, and find a sweater that matched that and not swatch. Have you thought of another sweater as soon as this came off the needles? I know you have another one on the needles, but... I'm not like... Well, because now I get into maybe a little bit of gift knitting coming up. Yes. Although I've got some plan... I would like to cast on a gift early and get it done... I don't know. No, I really don't. I actually have that Shetland yarn to make the vest out of that I Shetland. That. Is that week. on your list? Yes. Yeah. And it's steaking. You steak the sleeves. You steak the neck. It's a That's little V-neck. so fun. I'm super tempted by that. Even if you get it on your needles, that might be oh, one you... Even just swatching. Yes. Like, make yes. my swatch. That will make me... And that's a Mary Jane Mucklestone. It's the vest out of her... Um, Oh my God, what's it called? Shetland Weekend? Mm -hmm. Shetland Weekend? Her I say that, book? but I have no idea. <laughs> Something like that. Um, it's a great book. Yeah. So what do you, have you thought of sweaters? I'm into smaller things right now. Yeah. For no other reason that, actually, once I talk about the hat that I got off the needles, it made me want to cast on the sweater version of it, if I'm honest. Okay. But um, I'm just getting that instant gratification by doing socks oh my god my everyone and their dog is getting socks for me for christmas that's so good though jody yeah i'll talk i want to talk about dk weight socks too when we get to our okay. sock talk part um because i'm working on a tube that you gave me i might have to borrow your cylinder for a, a day borrow it for a week not even a week Tracy. but just crank a crap did you of see those tubes that i have <laughs> i have enough to keep me busy because dk is they go so bomb. fast to finish a pair. <laughs> yes. And not all, we're not, I'm not doing the DK because, just because they're fast. I'm doing the DK because I love the weight of it too. Oh, sure. 
Oh like, no, I'm all of the above. DK today. And we live in a cool place. Yes. A DK sock is not inappropriate. No. And I mean, even if some people use them as a bed sock or, you know, in your boots or just in the house because you're freezing, trust me, the, everybody could use a DK sock. I agree. Okay, good. Well, maybe I'll borrow that from you then. I'm going to drop it off today when I drop the pickles. You can keep it for you as long as you need. You don't have to make an need. extra trip. You are mean? we live right now? Yes, we are live right now. So don't say anything you wouldn't say. <laughs> Shh. Yeah. We only go live so that we don't have to edit. It's very unprofessional, but it's it it fits well yeah. in our schedule. Um, and no lawn mowing this morning. A because we're inside, but it's raining. And yeah, and I think honestly, we hardly have to mow our lawn anymore. No, it's very everything slow. has slowed down. Yeah. It's, it's, fall is honestly here. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. September came so quick. I know it's my favorite month. It I used is. to love going back to school. I used to love. The back, back to school clothes, that kind of, you know, mm -hmm. clothes where you would buy, like, loafers and <laughs> new runner. Oh, like, my God. Uh, what were the name of those loafers? Um, Those bass, the Weegins, the penny loafers. Weegins. I know. Bass I would. I, I, have, I, make those. I think I still have a pair. Your burgundy cut ones. Yeah. I love them. Those were like you buy them once for life. They're so well made. Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday, Maddie hadn't got a backpack. She she requires so little, but I did think, I was looking and we found a poppy and barley leather one. Ooh. It's so beautiful. Is it, this, not is, it, is, it is it the one? It's squarish. I, th I think I have that one. And it comes with I think a, I bought it for traveling. It's amazing. And it, you can have a crossbody that or the top. It's an investment piece. I said to Maddie, you'll have it for your whole life. You will. It's an investment. What a great thing yeah. to go off to high school. She yeah. will use it for college, university, or just life forever. Yeah. It's it's big, too. It's big, Jody. And I thought, it's pricey. What color did she get? She got the black with the black suede. Me she too. Wanted... Oh it's <laughs> so nice. But let me tell you this. She never wants me to buy her clothes. Yeah. She didn't want to go back to school shopping. Mm -hmm. I had to force her to get a pair of sho new pair of shoes. Right. So I thought if I can do this, get you this backpack. Trust that me, you got off cheap. Yes. If she wanted to back to school shop for all the clothes, I would have been five times as much. Right. Anyway, anyway I'm, she will love it. I think she'll end up loving it. It's beautiful. Poppy and Barley. I you, hope it holds enough stuff for high school. Like she for, put one binder in it and there's so much room. Okay, good. She can have her laptop and two binders. Do they and take laptops to school? Is that what yes. they do? Yes, that's what they do. So they take notes mm. and stuff on there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Then it's for sure enough for Yeah. And all the pockets. Yeah. And you can tuck in the backpack straps if you want. And there's a loop on the back, Jody, that fits over your suitcase handle when you're traveling. It is a great yes. bag. Let me tell you. It's the only thing I've ever bought from Poppy Barley. I had bought that wallet matching purse that I use all the right. time in that bone color. Or that tan It's a color. great brand. And I, it's Canadian. Is it really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, yeah. Um, so we Maybe did. Maybe mine. No, I think you're right. I think it is though. Yeah. So I went for the first time to Southgate Poppy Barley, and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. So oh my gosh, we're just babbling today. Yeah. We got to fill it with. Something I have been knitting. Yes. I do, and I have show us so many things you've been to knitting. show. Well, I did do my sweater. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, because you do I it. finally get to wear it. This was my beautiful um, birthday gift. Yes. Tracy gifted me, and um, sh you're going to have to talk about the I'll yarn. just tell you. Okay, pattern is Orialis by Jennifer Steingast, yeah. which I I've ha I just think her patterns, these kind of yokes for me, they're just yeah elegant and wearable. I think it's you Look can make kind halo. of a dressy looking. Um, and maybe because I knew about this, I just it occurred to me one day to swatch with mohair. Mm. So I thought it might be fun to incorporate your Jasper color that you corrobor collaborated mm -hmm. with La Bien Amie. So that's the color. And it's the sock yarn, the Merino Super Sock. So 75, 25, and then two strands of mohair. You just need one scan of mohair, one skein of sock. Yeah. And there was plenty left over. And so it I'd, could be a stash buster for the color work. It totally could. And I mean, I did the version where you did the most color work. So I still had lots left over. Okay. So you would have lots. Yeah. Um, and then the gray yarn is Cumbria oh. by the Fiber Company. Again, another woolly yarn. Non-superwash, 
but next to skin. And I'm it not has wearing 10% mohair. Yeah, I'm not wearing anything under it. So kind of your sweater has a halo all over, but a, a really good halo in the color work. You know, I'm not hot. Usually I run hot. I mean, you do have a window crack. I'm not hot in this right now. Okay, two days ago, I wore this sweatshirt that I bought at Costco, which I love. I was boiling hot because it's like polyester and polar fleece mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I wore this. Yes, this is the second day in a row I'm wearing this sweater. You're allowed to wear it every day. Um, I wore this yesterday, same weather, mm -hmm. and not hot at all. No. Because it regulates and breathes. Let me tell you, I wool is magical. It okay, really I kinda, is. I forget that, and then you remind me, and then I'll forget it again. But really, that is true. Like, yeah. I'm not going to cook in this. No. Well, it depends on the... I'm no. cozy, but I'm not going to overheat. Right. Right. And if you wanted to add another layer, you could be super warm in super cold weather. Did you burn yourself? Yes, I did. On what? I did burn myself. The I was oven? taking something out of the oven and the door was only mm. half open and I touched Rookie. it just for a second. I'm really bad. Actually, my left hand's got lots of... For some reason, I burned myself really? in the oven. Yeah. I grate my thumb all the time. <gasps> right here. Gross. I'm probably eating skin. Gross. <laughs> my family's eating skin. Oh. My thumb skin. I'm pretty sure I've shaved off part of like my gel nails. <laughs> oh, geez. I can't find that little purple. Oh, well. Oh, well. I've had worse in my mouth. It won't kill you. I'm sure you have. <laughs> ah. That's so funny. So anyway, um, I so, loved knitting uh, this. It's another top-down yoke. Mm -hmm. The pattern was amazing. The yarn was incredible. Yeah. I loved it. I feel like, yeah, yeah, it's my favorite I, type of yarn to make garments out of because they keep their shape and I just feel like they look good for so long. Yeah. A beautiful wool sweater. It's going to look good for a long time. Oh, this is going to last forever. I'm going to have to will this. I can't believe how long your arms are. Those are the longest sleeves I have ever knit. Oh. But they fit. They fit. Yeah. Nope. It's the right length. And a beautiful little eye cord mm. on, the, on the cuff. Just and look at this collar's. Yeah, like it's, it's just for for knitting. I mean, you can try on as you go, but then you're wondering, is it going to work? Does it? Is yeah. it? Does it? F I mean, it is perfect. Yeah, I'm glad you. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it fits the way you like. Mm -hmm. That's the most stressful thing. Yeah, I love knitting for people, but especially a sweater. It's like, oh my god, please tell me how big you want it, and what style you like, because it makes a big difference on if someone's going to wear it. I agree. Maybe they, yeah. And then like you, if you need it too small and if someone's uncomfortable, of course they're never going to wear it. Yeah. Anyway, you know, that's. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Sweater. Sweater. Show us something you've knit. Something else I've knit. Because clearly you've been slacking. I've been doing nothing but knitting. Actually, that's a lie. I finished my sweater on the weekend and then in the evenings I will be knitting. I knit my, like my own stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I kept going on my ship shape sweater. You've made lots of headway. I think I think the body almost doubled doubled in length from last time. <gasps> so I'm kind of all like, I think you need ten inches of knitting till you get to the ribbing, and then you or ten or yeah something like that, ten and a half, and then two and a half inches of ribbing. This is my join. I was where, gonna say, look at your jogless stripe. So it's pretty. It's almost. Do you know what I mean? I think that's good enough. Us as knitters, you're looking at it thinking, oh, I can kind of, but somebody else, that's naked. I that honestly is, don't think you're going to notice no. it. Um, and so you'll see, this is, I'm just carrying my yarn up very loosely. It's four round stripes. I was twisting things every two rounds and I just found it got messy and yucky. Mm -hmm. So four rows to me isn't so bad to make a float as long as you do it very loose. Yes. Like the first two stripes stitches of that first new color it looks wobbly and loose until I keep going around um, and then I am doing a bit of a jogless stripe technique where I slip the first stitch of the second round so I've done my gray one round and I come around and then I'll slip the first stitch and it kind of pulls it up a bit which yeah. which makes the jog bring the jogs up so it's very I for me that's the most simple technique yeah I was doing for years where you lift up the bottom leg above it and do a knit two together on the first stitch, which isn't complicated either, but it can, it can look a little messy or bulky. Yeah. I think this one where you just simply slip it. Yeah. 
is much neater. And I was really just trying that as an experiment to see if I liked it, and I did. So I think trying whatever you find on, I mean, there's so many ways to do um, jogless stripes. Um, I'm loving it. This is another great pattern. It's written so well, and it's so fun to knit. And the yarn is the beautiful Cory Worsted from La Bien Ami. All this beautiful non super wash. Oh my wool, gosh. You guys. I feel so. Look, I spoiled. ordered more. I feel so spoiled. Yeah. It is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so it's called Cory Worsted. It comes in 30 amazing colors. This is the undyed base. And yeah, so from all the way Moira, almost Moira black, right? Mm -hmm. It's their darkest, darkest color. Um, and then this is the undyed with every color you could imagine in between. Yeah, they have a beautiful palette, you it's, guys. It's almost impossible to choose. You cannot go wrong. Um, it's and 230 meters for 100 gram, 75 Falkland Coriadale, and 25 Gotland. Scotland. Right. So what a beautiful blend. Mm. Something that, I, you know, this is their special blend. I, I'm sure they've developed this yarn. Um, and I love stripes. I just, okay, when I see this, I think this sweater is exactly you. It's cute, yeah. right? I've never, I don't, I don't buy striped clothes. And then I see people wearing striped clothes and think, I love it. So I'm really glad to be knitting this. Um, I think it's gone are the days that people say vertical stripes don't work on everyone. You know right. what? Fuck that. I right. like a vertical stripe. Right. I'm going to wear it. And as we've um, figured out just by knitting sweaters and seeing on Instagram and Ravelry different sweater size shapes, when you knit it a little cropped and boxy, mm -hmm. I think it's very flattering. Yeah. I am cropped and boxy in my own. I am. So, okay. That could be a tattoo. To, I am cropped and boxy. Oh my God, I love that. You should so, call that term. <laughs> um, these sweaters just work for me, right? They skim. They're not... Anyway, I, I it's easy to knit the shape that you feel good in, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. these thin stripes, I think, are really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Really fun. Horizontal. Yes, or I said vertical. Yeah. yeah. Um. So this... So how many... Mm, yards in a hundred gram would you say is a worsted i feel weird talking about this the yarn is called cory worsted i don't i but i feel like you get it, it this is a dk pattern and i got the gauge exactly i would say it is a, so maybe a light worsted a light worsted that's what i would say it is maybe that's what it is because you may be able to knit it with a different needle to a worsted gauge. Here's what I was thinking about. I do think about that when I was knitting this. I was like, geez, you know, I want to give you guys advice because, you know, you get the chance to knit with it. It does have the same kind of yardage as we consider a DK yarn here. Yeah. Right? Um, but I know in England, they call sometimes they call DK, which is like eight ply or whatever. Mm -hmm. They call it DK, but it's worsted weight for us. Oh, okay. So I've come across yarns like that. So really, I look at the weight of the yarn the yardage, um, and then you swatch and see, like lots of yarns you can knit to lots of gauges. Yeah. So if this is a light worsted, you can probably knit lots of DK patterns as well as some that are in the worsted category. Yeah, someone said worsted spun. I mean, I don't want to speak to what it's not, but that's what I kind of thought. It doesn't look worsted spun if I'm honest now looking at it. I mean, yeah, it does look worsted spun. Where all, all the, doesn't it? Woolen spun is like shelter or oh so sorry. that's woolen. So this does look I mix the spun. two. Yes, you're right. It does look worse. It does not look woolen spun. So on yeah. I mean just look at the yardage. Look at the yardage and see what you think. I'm telling you, this is a DK weight pattern. I had no mm -hmm. I did one swatch, one needle, bang, like this. It was perfect. They make bass weegin still. Stop it. I think you need a pair in black. I I or, love it. At this you, point, all I can wear is orthopedic. I was just going to say, if you can get your orthotic. I got to go to the foot doctor, you, you did guys. find so the, the cutest brand. Do you want to share that? Because your um, shoes have been yes. on so, point. My, I have plantar fasciitis, which I had, you might have to get the surgery. Seven or eight years ago. And the slicing surgery. Never and never again. So it, it got, I got orthotics, wore the orthotics like religiously for two years. And all of a sudden it was just gone. So it's been about five or six years. Like that no had, orthotics. No. No pain. No. <gasps> and then this May after garden shop, mm. which is a lot of time on your feet on concrete. 
it just seemed to all of a sudden come back and it's never been so bad. Like I, I have, see. it's so, I wear shoes in the house. I am in pain every day. It's awful. I have to go to the foot doctor and see if I'm doing the right thing. You really should. But if, if, um, if Donna had not messaged me and said, look, I have plantar fasciitis. I use these shoes called Gravity Defy. She said, I am bringing them up. They're adorable. They're, they're super cute. It's a giant line of shoes. You can just wear them because you like comfy shoes. But I picked two pairs that are kind of, um, they're kind of like a, like a clean look, like a European style runner. Like it's leather, but it's really, really cute. They're so comfortable, but they are specifically made for the heel issue that you get with plantar fasciitis. I wear them in the house. I wear them absolutely everywhere. They're like a lifesaver at this point. But I do have to go back to the foot doctor to see if if I just if I'm missing something. Like do is yeah. there something else I can be doing or do you just wait it out and wear the right shoes? Would you get the surgery if he said you need the surgery you'll be pain free? See somebody says stretching for plantar fasciitis changed their life. Some people say it has something to do with your calf. I don't feel like that. It doesn't I thought feel it was like those that for tendons me. under your foot that the and surgery like a is heel like... spur. Like you get this, I can feel it under my heel is the most. Why are you shopping for old ladies when that is only going to be Well, because I have the right shoes. I have shoes that are good. And I literally, after that yesterday, I mean, I can do work at home that I'm sitting. So when I can sit, I sit, but these shoes are saving my bacon. Saving yeah. my bacon. But I want to get my feet better because if my husband and I wanted to go on a trip like you a trip with lots of travel. walking it would be impacted by that right now yeah so I'm gonna he fix could, it I'll fix it you could get a ride on scooter yeah that was the other option forget the shoes just get a scooter <laughs> Jeff could put you in a backpack on the shoes back. are called gravity defy how do you spell that d-e-f-y -E gravity -E defy and they have some kind of um patent or something for the heels and I just thought whatever I'm just gonna go check I'm gonna try them try them not cheap but and, cute and I'm worth every penny yeah I would do it again yeah yeah um can we talk about Hohe launched <gasps> we have such a good Hohe section today yes is that go. a good time to talk yes, about it yes it is Hohe we can combine launched some a brand new mini collection ready for fall just this week. And I don't know if you've all seen it. I'm sure you have because it's like trending on Ravelry. It's like every slot is filled with Hoey. These patterns are romantic. They're beautiful. They're, oh, I, I think they're very Hoey. Like if you, I think she just, they're just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So she's made a little, a collection. It's called Ready for Fall. And she's given you a beautiful beanie. Like, it's just a stylish folded brim, gorgeous lace, um, beautiful ribbed lace socks. Okay, let me show the beanie first. The cowl, I'm totally making the cowl. But see what she's done, you guys? The brim in one color and then the body in another. It's just stunning. Okay, the next one. I couldn't love her anymore. <gasps> oh, carrot, those are her caramel sauce socks. Her photo, I mean, we were talking about this already. The photographs, you guys. Charlie and her just took these themselves. They're artistic. They're so beautiful. Oh, he's just, like, we, we know how amazing she is as a knitwear designer. She's also, I think, an amazing graphic designer mm -hmm. and photographer. She's got an amazing eye. Um, and bag designer for Hohe and Co. Like, she's just so, I, I just think she's incredibly talented. This sweater... From the minute she showed it, I am not someone that loves brioche to the point where I need to knit all the brioche, but that sweater. Even Jeff said yesterday, he goes, geez, I saw Hohe had this black and white sweater. I could think that could be masculine, like <gasps> not masculine, but that could go, anybody could wear that. Yeah. Yes, you guys. And this shawl is a stunner. And that's actually knit in a sport weight yarn. So you could do sport or DK if you like. So it's super squishy. It's my favorite shape. I love a triangle shawl. And it's got that beautiful, simple lace. I would love to knit it. Oh, look at I this. I would love to knit it. 
I meant to print it out this morning, but I actually knit these that. photographs are amazing. Okay, this. I'm totally going to knit that. Forever and ever cowl. Yes, you are. What is it knit with? It's an infinity loop cowl. I have to look closer at the pattern. I think you hold two strands of mohair together in her sample. You can use DK weight yarn, I believe. Is she striped the yarn So here? there's, yeah. Yeah. Look how soft it is. So that's like, like a beautiful little palette sort of almost monochromatic, really, really um, colors that just sort of blend together so well. You can use whatever you like. Look at those giant cables on the side. You could use like fingering weight and a mohair that you love, oh like a speckled mohair if you have a, one that you love. Oh my God. And it's and it's an infinity loop cowl. It's so beautiful. Yeah. That one you could knit in like a rustic wool DK and have it look one way and then knit it in something like this mohair or... And it would look completely different. Same pattern. Yeah, the shuttle's oh, just... You guys, I'm not really one for lace, but when I saw this... Carson! I knit, She test knit the brioche pullover. Oh, but she said I, she didn't finish it. You be careful. You're going to get kicked out. <laughs> oh, he's test knit. <laughs> this collection... I'm sure it's stunning. This collection was breathtaking for me. She's honestly... One of my all-time favorite designers. I love everything Ho he does. Oh my god, I, I really love do. Her. And not only that, she's an amazing human being. Well, yeah. Right? I yeah. mean that also. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so that was gorgeous. But we have, you guys, the most amazing giveaway this week. So yesterday was September 1st. So August 31st, we finished our teas and tanks make along, which was our summer knit along, which that I thought was, was really fun. We had a knit along. It was really fun. And a lot of people knit. So I knit a summer sweater that was a t-shirt. I knit that Miserina. And I thought, this is ridiculous that mm -hmm. I don't have more of these. You should knit one for yourself in the winter, Joe. Tracy, my intentions are always there. It's like the fastest thing ever because there's no, like you're not knitting sleeves. Yes. And once you do it once, you think, oh my gosh, like what have I been missing? Yeah. So our knit along ended. But when we announced the knit along... Oh, he said, I would really love to send you. Is it okay? Can no. I possibly send a prize? No, you may not. And we said, what? No way. <laughs> so she's incredibly generous. And she sent, this was before they were even out. They have one of their newest, newest design. This is from Hohe & Co., which is their bag company. They just launched these incredible. Speaking of backpacks. Backpack totes. It is pebbled leather. It is one of my all-time favorite styles that they have designed. I think it's so practical. Tracy's used hers. So oh, she's, I we're did. both And then we got one it. for each for our birthday. Yes. Spoiled. Spoiled. I have my blue one that I love. This is the gorgeous brown. I could have picked this color. I could totally. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. I've got so much yeah. brown. I love it. Yeah. The blue is a really great blue. Too. It's quite blue. It's not navy, but it's not. It's like bright. an indigo almost, yeah, it's gorgeous. but not super, super mm -hmm. dark. But it's so it's tote style. You can put it over your shoulder like that, but it's also got the backpack straps. And if you ever wanted to, you could take these off. You yeah. can unclip them and pull it through here, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to, but um, and inside you've got a flap pocket right there. And if you wanted more space. These because it kind of uh, brings it in a little to make it a little more, um, yeah. What's the word? Like streamlined, you know, kind of a cleaner lined yeah. thing. But you have the option to do that. And to me, a great bag has an outside pocket for your keys, for those things that you're grabbing all the time. My phone yeah. will always like phone would always go in here. Phone yeah. and a mask right now. Um, but it is a great size it's not too gigantic and it's not too small i feel like it's the perfect size so this is one of the prizes that's going out in our teas and tanks make along what? i'm gonna enter today you should enter too bad you didn't <laughs> enter so thank you to everybody for getting excited there's so many um fo's and people that just got in on the knitting so it was really fun uh, but thank you ho he Kohi and Co. Thank you, thank you. Very generous. Super spoiled. We're going to be able to... Um, I don't know where this is going, but somebody is going to love it. Unless, okay. unless it gets lost Should I in take my it closet. Home? Yeah, maybe. Beautiful. Yeah. Sure. Um, and something else that just came with them while we're gushing about all the Hohi stuff. She did a new graphic design. I love it. 
it. Yeah. So this is their newest. She's been doing all these really fun. They've got this beautiful artist they work with. with. Um, Cecilia Lalan. Probably not pronounced that way, but her art is so beautiful. And they've done t-shirts and... I love it so much. Their little... Oh. Um, they do their um, cotton pampa buckets and now they have the journal too. Isn't that nice? Yes. You guys, and it's you can it's got dots, which means you can still use it as a line, but then if you're like pattern writing yeah. or use anything like to graph anything, just this yeah. is amazing. I love actually the dotted lines in a I would pick this. Yeah. For yeah. sure. I love it. For sure. Um yes, Carson, get out your shirt. So I do, I loved it. I love it. I just think it's so beautiful. And the, the lady, she is knitting. I don't know if I'm not showing that very well, but she's knitting. Oops. Yeah, love that. Yeah. And you can get it in two different colors if they still have these. And the designer is a Uruguayan designer and oh, illustrator. Yes. So that so was really So what a fun, beautiful. fun um, collaboration. So that was really fun. I'll so take yeah, our, ta our, okay. our um, tank top is, or so our tees and tanks make along because you mm -hmm. could crochet or if you wanted is over we need a new fall knit along and i thought we could do september october and then send prizes out in november and then maybe not be doing a knit along till the new year okay Gigi said she'll be right back she has an order to place yes you do yeah okay so just a minute should we do sweaters of course like sweater weather let's do that should it be specifically like color work or no? I'm happy whatever. I don't I'm care. This is how we this is how we decide. This is, this is what our do planning you think? meeting. I don't know. What do you guys what okay, anyone that's here live, do you have any preferences? Um and you know what? I don't think it should be just color work because there's a lot of people that may not want to knit their first sweater. Right. Or something like that. I think it should be any sweater. Let's do a sweater along. Even if you're doing sweaters for your kids. Yeah. Um anything. Yeah, we have very few rules. We just like the community of it. In fact, if you put in socks, we'd probably <laughs> accept that. <laughs> Sweater? I thought you said hat. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. We're gonna. I'll make a thread today, and it will be the sweater knit along. Um, and we've got some great books that are going to be our giveaway this week. You know, this sweater knit along could run till the new, like the whole four months. Yeah, it could for sure. But then we pop another one in beginning in November for two months. Well, no, the thing is when we run things through the holidays, it gets kind of like, that's the time of year we don't want to do anything. And then it has to be like putting, I don't know. Ja no, I mean like not like uh, it ending in January. Oh, I see what you mean. We could do end of November. Yeah, we could for sure. Like sweaters until the end of November. Um, like a three month, two months might be a little quick for a sweater. For eight weeks. People. Yeah. You're probably right about that. So let's do three. Three months. Okay. And then that's Starting it. Starting today. Go. Ready, set, cast on. What um, am I going to knit? Right? My chin hair. There you go. <laughs> Dog, Dog sweaters. Sweater. Sure oh, it does. Why not? Like, it's who's going to say no? I'm going to knit my cat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to knit my cat one of those hats from the Cat Good. And Hats book. Good. Um, can I also say, I just got severe shade from my daughter yesterday. Speaking of dog sweaters, she said, "What did she say? Like basically, I'm a You're bad, a terrible. Knitter. I'm a bad knitter because I have not knit my dog sweaters. Well, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. But who says that? Is she feeling okay today? <laughs> she thinks um, headache. I don't know. I haven't I was seen, gonna I haven't yell seen at her, her yet today. today. I haven't seen her yet today. Yelling at her. Okay. This weather is so brutal. The barometric pressure changes on people, like yeah. with their arthritis and yeah. stuff. Um, okay. How have you today? Um, I'm, I'm living on Tylenol off your hands. Yes. You have to be careful. You don't take too much of that. You can get this rebound thing and it's bad. What's that? If you get, if you take so much Tylenol, well, it is, we've learned through George's migraines. It can be the reason you're having headaches. <gasps> so don't take more than you I'm should not be taking. taking. No, I'm not. I'm just And taking... try really not to take it unless you have to should take, take it. Advil instead? No, no. Tylenol's, well, Advil's a, do you know what? You should take for that kind of inflammation. Advil's an anti-inflammatory, but I don't know what you would take for that. Here's the thing. I've never actually been diagnosed. Yeah. But my... I'm, a leave. I would take a leave. Really? Maybe. Isn't it an anti-inflammatory? I don't know. Because that's what's, what you're... Right? I'll just take a Xanax. 
<laughs> Take them all. Cover um, all your bases. I'm going for a physical tomorrow. Ugh. It's nothing like starting the weekend with a pap smear. Hello, pap smear. I actually don't nice think this is my you. year to have it, if I'm honest. No? No. Um, but I am going to talk about, um, it's just, this has been like very sudden for me. This, like my hands have never ached so bad where I don't want to move. I mean, it's not, a, the pain isn't a 10 out of 10, but to the point where I don't want to knit. But it's inflamed. Like it's in, yes. like you're tight. Your joints yes. are tight. Yeah. She'll help you out. Yeah. She's a good doctor. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it is not fun when something pops up like that and it's quite like disruptive to your life. Well, I think it's 50 and then the shit hits the fan. But you've also been working with your hands that way is true. more than usual. So and, make sure to tell her that. And that could um, exacerbate it or right. if like fast track like, are it. You, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, Voltaren. Yes. Really? <gasps> I love it. When I if, injured my elbow from knitting, Voltaren yeah. totally took... What is it? It's, it's a... It's an anti-inflammatory cream, though, but it really works. Oh, maybe I'll dip my hands. In go to go to. Um, I actually think Mom over shoppers over the years has it's sent some awesome. for Shane. It used to be prescription only. Oh, you're kidding! Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, Shane. Oh my God! Tons of knitting stuff. Did I show this last time? No. Okay. I think I saw it in your thing. He got you me tons show. of knitting stuff for my birthday. It was so funny. Um. He found this on Etsy. And where did he get it? I see say. himself. It's called Bump on a Hill. And she makes these amazing stitch markers, you guys. I had to show How do you it. make that? I don't know. But That's see, this adorable. is my, a Frappuccino. It's called Bump on a Log. And it's... it's. Oh, she sent an extra one because the shipping was a lot. And she said she, they charge shipping as ridiculous. So is she anyway. Canadian then? Because that shipping is so bad. I don't know, but she is bump on a log. Here, let me look. Maybe she's yarn got jewelry from Maine. Oh, okay. So I had never heard of her. How funny that my husband discovered somebody in the knitting world that I didn't know about. That's hilarious. Yeah. And so he must have just put in Starbucks on Etsy, knitting Starbucks. I don't know, or knitting markers. I don't know what he wow, would have put in. That would have taken a while. Like, right. It, like a lot of stuff would have popped up. Yeah. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back. I don't usually go back and ever watch our videos, but I'm going to go back and loot. These comments are I'm going to have to read. Okay, so this is the chat. When the video is up, if anybody has would care to leave a comment like right below the video, that would be amazing. Yeah, that would. But be. I can also go back to Not the live like the chat. ones I had. <laughs> yeah, that's very helpful. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. very helpful. And if you're an asshole, we're going to delete you and block you. So just be, just beware. You can be you, but just know that. Delete. How about helpful? How about like <laughs> if you're, yeah. So bump on a hill. Check her out. She does the cutest little stitch markers. That is adorable. Never heard of her. So yay. Pumpkin spice lattes back at Starbucks. It's pumpkin. So, okay. Speaking of pumpkin spice, that's the theme of our sock bash this month. Pumpkin spice. <gasps> So you could, it's you guys, I had pumpkin spice yarn. So, well, that's so many, so do so many, right? So, um, every month for, so, so we have a sock knit along did every, you see that? yes, Jody. I don't think there's any left, but there might be, but I did a pumpkin spice latte, very small batch. I love it. There well, you'll have to do more. Yeah. That's just batch number one. Um, so every month, which we are so bad at promoting, but we have a sock knit along every month and we've had it we for five years. No. Four years, maybe three or four, maybe around four years. Um, because we only ever used to knit socks, so we used to do this knit along. And every month, there's a chance to enter your one pair of socks twice, so we add a theme. And September, the theme for that is pumpkin spice, which means you can have the name of a yarn, the name of a pattern, the design, like whatever. It can basically just be orange yarn, too, if you want to call it that. Um, but that's your way to get in your one pair of socks twice. And every month we pull six winners. Prizes get sent all over the world. One of our winners from last month was so sweet. She said, um, can I send you money for the shipping? Yes. And I said, sure. One million dollars. <laughs> no, I said that was so sweet. But I said, you know, YouTube gives you a few bucks for, um, whatever views or so. I don't even know why they send you a little bit of money, but we use that for shipping. Yeah. So that's what we do. Oh, that was very sweet. It was very sweet. So pumpkin spice, knit a pair of socks, no whips allowed, but they can be DK. Jody doesn't have, Jody doesn't use the knit along, but she has changed the knit along. We can now do DK socks. 
Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like ever, since you, ever since you said it, it's now fingering and DK. Adult socks. That's so funny. I'm just looking at Bump on a Hill, you guys. She's got a ton of beautiful... She does beautiful stitch markers. We'll link... Um, all we'll of link these it. things we'll link in our Ravelry group. Show notes are in the Ravelry group. You'll find the link down below our video to get there to the Ravel. To the Ravel. Right. Or just go to Ravelry and look for Grocery Girls Podcast yeah. in the groups. You'll yeah. find us. We actually have so many people in our group. I love that. Like, I love that community because people communicate and they message back and forth. That is insane. How many yeah. people are in there? It's over like a million know. people. One million people. <laughs> okay. I was listening to the radio this morning on the way home. I do love morning radio. I really Me miss. Me too. So I'm, I'm now going to get a few minutes of morning radio in the morning. So they were doing this. Who has a bigger net worth? Oh. Um, Dave Chappelle. Or Captain America. What's his name again? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. For sure Dave Chappelle. Yes. Yes. I thought so. Well. Yes. No, no, it's Chris Evans. I was going to say, because now they've no. paid this crazy amount of money it's for Chris Marvel. It's Chris Evans because I think it's the Marvel. Do I think Dave Chappelle works harder than Chris Evans? Yeah. Yes. Drew Carey or Rose McGowan? Drew? Hosting the prices right. I would say Drew. Drew? Like $180 million net worth. Wow. Whether that Google information. It was just really interesting to hear that. I actually I like those wrong. either ors. If I, I had any, like if I just, I think we should do those either ors in our stories. That would be really fun. Oh, that's so fun. Actually, I love I, Instagram stories the best. I picked, yes. I picked um, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I love, love Dave Chappelle. Okay. And he's just been working for so long. I love that man. Okay, 26,000 people in our Ravelry group. That's a awesome. Wow. So thank you for hanging out with us there. Um, any more knitting? Jody, hold the phone. I I'm didn't just going to sit back. Usually we show pictures between our text thread with Tracy and Amber and I. But Not you. You you hold things close to the vest. But this one, I'm, I can never wait to share. I wanted to show. Jeez, remember, Louise. you guys, this is the sunshine hat. This is brand new from Tin Can Knits. It was just released last week. Yeah, and it was kind of the, they like to do kind of like a instead of swatching. We've talked about it before. They like, well, how about do a hat and right. use that as your swatch? Right. It couldn't be better. <gasps> so this is insane. Jeremy. I kind of went. I went off her color palette, and this is the scraps that I have. You guys, this was nothing but joyful knitting. For sure, Jody. You're going to wear that every day this winter. I'm also planning probably for sure one more, maybe two, like a light gray. Um, This is incredible. I didn't do the decreases. Like I just cast on the right number of stitches, did yeah. her thing, and then just knit and then decreased. I didn't follow the pattern exactly. Their patterns are amazing. But this, look at this. It's incredible. When you pulled it out of your bag, I just about died. And you know what I super, super love? This is very, like, very tonal in here with the yellow and the green. I it's, love that. It's not as high of a contrast than I probably... But that's like, re like when you look at colorwork knitting in those Shetland patterns or whatever, like... They do a lot of that, where it's two blues that are very close together, but it's it's a, like a shaded almost. This it's beautiful in the camera. This is showing minty green, and this is showing blue. It's the exact same color, actually. Yeah. Um. So you just start. This is a halfway point. Like knit up to here, and then you. It's like a mirrored image mm -hmm. with this being the middle. This was so much fun. I love it. I love it, and of course, there's the sunshine pullover. So the same. Yes. If you knit the hat, you can use it as your swatch. And then you can cast it on the pullover. And all the sizes go from baby to big. Yeah. Big adult. Yeah. So um, did I go up a needle size for this? Oh, my God, you guys. That's a super good question. Look what I did. I just knotted it. <laughs> Why would you just knot it? I didn't feel like there was a lot of ends, you guys. If I'm honest. You don't like weaving them in? I don't. I do like weaving ends in, but... Now I feel ashamed. No, you shouldn't feel ashamed. There's lots of... No one is going to see it. There are lots of people that do that. Why I, would you care? Who I cares? I did a couple of ends here and then a couple of ends here. Listen, I, sometimes we just can't deal with that shit. I said I'm done. Right. And then I cut. I knotted it like three times and frayed the ends. That's funny. Um, did I go up a needle size? Yes, I believe I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
this is what I did. I went up a needle size for the whole hat though. It was a four millimeter needle for the, for the whole hat. Mm -hmm. And I went, I did a 4.5. I like my fabric in a 4.5. Right. Just for me. So that's what I did. I and then our pom-pom, our black number three <gasps> pom-pom that's available in our grocery girl shop. That is, I just, I can't get over how fun a faux fur pom-pom is. is and that, that one, come on, that's sassy. This hat is sassy. Yep. This is hat says, I'm look at me. Awesome. How great do I look in this hat? <laughs> so yeah, the sunshine. And somebody just suggested to do a hat and cowl knit along. And maybe we'll sneak one of those in for the November, December, Cause January. Be yeah, because people are going to be knitting gifts or just too busy to join mm -hmm. knit alongs. I just feel like that's a really slow time of year. And, and it's, it's just not the best time to do knit alongs. But And yet we're all knitting. Yeah. So we'll think about it. So Carolyn asked a really good question. Is there tricks to weaving in ends under the floats? And I think that's where I just went, screw it. Because I started weaving in the ends down here. Like, because right. there's no floats. And then I thought, I'm not dealing with this. Right. I mean, I would just do it under the pearl bumps. Yeah. That are in there. You don't have to weave in a lot. And I sometimes skim through the, like three pearl bumps. I skim and split the yarn. With my needle, I'll go one, oh, two, yeah. three pearl bumps, and then I'll do a U-turn and go one, two, three pearl bumps, cut, done. Yeah. But just, and it really is, there's no shortcut, you know, you can't really do it that wrong. I have never had an end pop out. No, I haven't either. Ever. Right? In all my, you guys, this is only probably one of two or three times I've ever cut, right. knotted and cut my knitting. Normally, it's always woven right. ends. And I'm all, I'm that person too that, I mean, a hat goes so fast you end up with all these ends, but I'm, I weave in ends as I go on yeah, sweaters. You're good. And, and for these kind of sweaters with the, um, non superwash yarn, I was spit splicing my yarn all together. I had one gray end for the body at the top imagine? and one at the bottom. Like it's life changing That's so to be good. able to felt your yarn together. So you don't have all those ends. I wore a hat yesterday too. Did you? The weather was cold. It was, it was cold. Rainy. It was a crap day. You guys, day. it was like 10 degrees. Yeah, it was super bad. Um, should we okay. go to sock talk? Sock talk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I have a little sock talk. I lost this bag and I finally found it. Did you know what was in it? I actually thought I had a project in it, but I had folded it up flat and put mm. it away. Yeah. So no wonder I couldn't find it. Right. Um, okay, a little while ago, this can also be tube talk. Jody gave me this beautiful. I actually think I must have had a little, because usually the tubes are longer for DK. <laughs> They're a little um, longer. Well, I unwound part, like, yes, to anyway, do. it was all good. What color is this? Walking on sunshine. Walking on sunshine. It's so beautiful. There's the palest. Do you see that pink? I do see it. <gasps> so good. So just last night after dinner, that's how fast these damn things are. I made. Oh so this is your blue steel color that I'm using. So this is DK oh, weight yarn. DK walking on sunshine. DK blue steel. It goes so good. Together. It's such a good combo. I was very tempted to add like a bright, shocking, like pink May flowers to it, but I decided not to. So I did a little twisted, 10 rows of twisted rib. I just saw <laughs> what was on that. <laughs> I don't know what something is wrong with me. There is not something wrong with you. Um, I did an afterthought heel. Wait for it. And my first round was knit one, slip one. What was fucking one-upping us? No. Yes. And on the toe. So, but like zero. There's my neighbor. <laughs> Waving at him through the Crazy, window. I would have never thought of that. I'm you've doing done that for whole, all of that. You've done whole sweaters with it. I'm, but I would have never thought of it for myself. Okay. But it's really quite cute, right? So you just do this one round of knit one, slip one, and it gives you this little kind of jagged line. And I thought it was quite cute on the heel too. Super simple. Not a big deal. And if I'd been thinking about it, I would have done it on the... Anyway, no biggie. But then when I was doing the toe, I'm obsessed with duplicate stitch lately. <laughs> I'm obsessed with duplicates, your duplicate stitch lately. <gasps> I mean, I didn't even plot this out or whatever. It's probably lopsided. I'm sure I can do it better, but I just thought there's such a happy, that is happy, ridiculous yellow sock. Um, 
I don't know. And then I tried them on and they're too big. So these are actually going to be a gift. I know. <gasps> I know. I love that. Big. Yeah. So I'm halfway done a little Christmas gift. Duplicate oh stitch is so easy, you guys. I don't know how to embroider. These are like a happy, happy is little duplicate stitch easy. Like ridiculous. So okay. easy. I promise. Um, okay. Because your sock is yellow yeah. and you've put a face on it, it looks like an emoji. Well, I think it's just, it reminds me of that, like the classic yellow happy face. Yes. Right? That's what it made me think of. I don't know why I was, I don't know why. That's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> you win. It was so cute. For the cutest socks ever. It was ever. so funny. And that takes less than 10 minutes to make this really? little. Yeah. Less than 10 minutes for sure. So I just thought they were kind of cute. So that'll be a gift. Jody, your yarn is I'm gonna double, so I'm gonna nice double to stitch, work with. I'm going to double stitch. Um... A penis, right? Yeah, or evolve or something like that. That's fun. Anyway, <gasps> I love it. Really, really, really fun. The yarn Isn't that fun is amazing. To grab something when you've been working on like a big commitment, like a sweater, just to a palette cleanser. Totally. I didn't really. I was tired. Day Wednesdays are super busy and super early start, but I thought oh, I love this tube. I want to make socks, um, and I'm, I can't believe how fast. I would not be able to do all three parts of that sock on a fingering weight sock in the evening. No. But DK, no sweat. Yep. So, and and the tube, Jode, like I had this much that I unwound for oh, one sock. So, so I've got, I've got enough here to knit. Like this would be a little scrap that you could put in a hat. Love that. Yeah, because you always. Or these were going to be super long. Like they were going to be like eight inches oh. legs or whatever. And I was like, eh. Those anyway, are amazing. Aren't they cute? And you know what I've been using? And I've just recently, this past year, discovered the amazingly stretchy bind off. Who's? Yeah. Which one do what's you her like? Name? Do Jenny's? Jenny's amazing. Is that what you do? Where you knit one yarn over, knit one, and yeah. then pat. Yeah. Is that what you use? Is, do you use that? No, I just use like the shawl bind off. Which is what? So you, well, and so this is in ribbing. So knit one, purl one. So I would knit one. And then purl one because I'm binding it off in pattern. And then I'll knit those two together through either the front loop or the back loop, depending which stitch you're on. And you'll know. Like if it's a purl, right. I think you do it through the front loop. Because yours is very tidy. Do you think so? Yeah. I actually, I'm not a toe-up sock knitter, so I'm never happy. That looks never really, happy with really my tidy. bind off. But I've done the Jenny surprisingly stretchy. And to me, for me, it was a lot of yarn. Mm -hmm. It's stretchy. Like if mm -hmm. you... If you're worried about it being tight on your calf, it's not. Yeah. But this is that one. That's that, stretchy. This is that one that's in every shawl. Like yeah. every bi shawl bind off. Love it. So I never know what to do. Yeah. I, never I love it. It looks do. really nice. I'm I'm a top, uh, top down sock knitter by preference. Look at you getting gifts done. What? Well, so far it's half a gift. It's not much of a gift yet. No one foot could be warm. Right. Um, I did... Remember the tube I showed last week? Yes. I made it. I did. Um, this is the contrast it came with. This is the Hue Loco, one of the summer jams. And then I added the Mayflowers. That's toe. beautiful. Yeah. Your Mayflowers color. I do love it. I actually think it might be the color exactly that she also uses in her socks. I think it's the next tube I crank is that zebra Mayflowers that you gave me. Oh. But I'm not giving it away. Give it away. No, I never give I'm it to not. you with the intention you have to keep it. No. Ever. I'm going to make socks for oh, me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm going to make socks, but it's not going to be a gift. Because I'm like that. You're very unselfish when it comes to your knitting. You're very, very, very generous. I like knitting for, for, for people, if they like it. So this is 30, flirty, and thriving. That is so cute. In DK. And then this is the mini in DK, if you remember, because this is like the, what's the mini? It's the mini that came with the original set. It is? Because that's her dress. That's Jenny, uh, Judy Greer's dress. Okay. And this is Jennifer Garner's dress. Well, the 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 main yarn, I for sure, you can see And the then dress. if you remember um, Judy Greer's dress, it's that beautiful like avocado green. It's got black lace. That's so cute. So this is... That sock. What gauge do you get when you crank stitches? I think I have a, we have oh, a tape measure. Let's measure. So, I mean, usually like an eight inch circumference, like a four, so four inches across, right? So this is 24 stitches. 
three to four, so three and a half inches. So it's a seven inch tube. How much do you usually get? That, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a seven inch tube, which will give you negative ease mm -hmm. for like an average size foot. Yeah. Like my foot is, I think, eight or eight and a quarter inches around. This is perfect. Seven, seven and a half or seven. Mm -hmm. it does, and this fit, this will stretch out pretty big. Yeah. So I knit my, when I'm hand knitting a 3.5, a lot of people were finding with my pattern, they were closer to a three getting the gauge. Okay. So somewhere in there. When I pick up my stitches with my 3.5 needle, it's a touch tight, which I'm okay with. Cause I know I'm somewhere like this is going to, this is a good gauge for people to be wearing. So it, it knits up like a three using a three millimeter needle. I think so. Close I to used a three. a three millimeter needle for my, yeah, for my, I think, but everybody's tension's yeah. different. I think it's closer to a three millimeter. I love your folded cuff, <gasps> Jode. Look how neat it is on the inside, you guys. It's like Kitchener. It's awesome, but it's fun. It's beautiful. And so this, these are all gift socks. I think so. The universal rule of knitting is it grow will grow with wear. Yes. Of well, course. especially for socks, you really don't want them floppy unless they're they're meant to be like bumming around the house mm -hmm. socks. You want them significantly smaller than your foot. Yeah. Well, Carson is like the a queen of the sock machine because that's, I mean, she's knit a million pairs it's of them really now. It's really nice. You do want that negative ease because they start to stretch immediately when you put them on. Well, especially superwash yarn. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you can wash wash and dry these if you really want to. I think superwash yarn is actually better when you put it in the washer and dryer. I actually do too. It goes yeah. back to your original yeah. knit. It's, it is that way. It's pretty yeah. hard to screw up. But I'm just... This to me is bringing um, me joy with knitting with do, just oh, doing these. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so that's fun. That's I all the knitting I have. I love it. Okay. I'm trying to think. Oh, I have one more pair of socks to show, but I only have a picture. So, really? So. Why is that? Because they were given as a gift on the weekend. Got it. But they were one of my favorite pairs. I showed the tube a little <gasps> while ago. Yes, you did. I did see one of these done. So these, these were just, this was a blue tube that I, we cranked on our sock machine, fingering weight yarn. And then I just used little bits to make these kind of sporty looking. What did they think? Oh, love. Love said, oh, I admired these on your Instagram. I had no oh, idea they were for me. So, they're so beautiful. Yeah, they were awesome. Oh, and look at me. Like, who takes fancy pictures of freaking socks? No you one. Do. No one. Yes, they do. No one. A sock uh, knitter, that's who. So that was another thing that I finished this week, and that was great. Very fun. I love doing vanilla socks okay, that way. Okay, wait. Don't you think? The, the gate, the floodgates are going to open when I drop off that DK cylinder. Joey. Tracy. Your husband you know might not DK see you over the weekend. And do you know how much yarn I have for DK weight socks? And let me tell you, this kind of stuff, that tweed hedgehog, oh, cranked beautifully. I'm not doing that. I'm knitting myself a sweater. No, no, I'm just saying, like, in general, if you have DK skeins, I have like non-superwash. And, you know, I bought... Okay, talk to the people. I have something over here. Um, I, I have a pattern to show. So, okay. Petite Knits, who we love. Yes. This is actually... You guys, this looks like, to me... Like the perfect, I don't want to say grandpa cardigan because I feel like it's a I little more refined. I do love a grandpa cardigan too, but I but I don't want to like, you know, take away from the pattern. This to me, when I saw this, it's DK plus mohair. <gasps> you had me at Is that worst, bulky? Um, like what's the gauge maybe? It. Oh, okay. I'd have to look it up again to see the gauge. If you it a little loose, you could probably. But look at this shape. It's V-neck with those beautiful buttons. The ribbing on the wrist and the ribbing on the hem is exaggerated. Like, it's it's longer than you Which would normally see. Which I think makes see. it look really cool. But petite knits, her knits, are classic. That's beautiful. Like it will never go out of style. It's not necessarily trendy. It's, it's for classic. sure not trendy. I feel like she's 100% not trendy. Right. Yeah. And... I think I, why have I not knit a petite knit pattern? I don't know. This is a brand new one. So many of hers are fingering and mohair, which is like my all time fave. Yeah. And I just thought this there's was no reason that I have not yeah. yet. Love it. Yeah. Joe, that's beautiful. Okay. Speaking of DK <gasps> yarn. That looks like a jumbo. Sleeve. This is DK commercial sock yarn that I got at the Fiber Nook. 
So this is 75% wool, 25% nylon. Feel it. Oh, it's soft. It's so nice. What kind is this? I mean, how big is this? It is a lot of yarn. This like is a it's, lot of yarn. Um, let me get the details here. You guys, it's soft. It's, it's, it's 150 straight. grams, okay. 390 meters. Wow. Like, I think I can get two pairs of socks out of that. Yeah. For 20 bucks. It's so beautiful. Oh, what what great but price point. I just think, you know, if you if you don't have, you know, DK or or whatever in your thing, this is really this is also if you like to hand knit your socks, but you want faster. There's lots of great What is the fiber content again? Sorry. 7525 wool nylon. These this is a Oh, it says made in Italy. I was just gonna say it's a German German, I believe, company, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I was excited to find that just in the yarn shop. So, DK for the win. This is going to be fun. It would be a cute hat. It would be cute mittens. Yep. I really That's a lot wasn't, of yarn. I, I like wasn't that. sure. And for 20 bucks. Yeah. Love that. So, I think it would be actually a super cute hat or mittens. Big balls. Okay, you guys, I did find another sweater. Oh God, I thought of beautiful. you. Oh, my God. It's a sport steaked pattern oh my gosh that's so pretty. it's written to steak it's an all over um color works the color works amazing isn't that beautiful yeah and actually you guys i still want to do something like that this is well i don't really remember now why i printed this one but i think this wow is look at all the patterns they're all color work Almost. I don't. I can't speak to that anymore. I don't remember why I did that. Okay. But this is. I just thought steaked. It gives you instructions on steaking, not just like winging it yourself. Right. If anyone wanted to kind of try their hand at that, That's awesome. and because it's sport, you guys can probably easily get a DK swatch out of this. Like going up or down one yarn size usually um, is not that difficult. I'm just my doctor's calling. Hello. Oh. Hi, this is. Hi, Jessica. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Looking forward to getting weighed by a stranger. Right. <laughs> uh, I just thought this was amazing. There was uh, projects in other colors. They were just incredible. That's really beautiful. I mean, it's, I'm... This, to me, this is a bucket list kind of knit. Yeah. And there's no reason we couldn't do it, Joe. No, no. I feel like I have the ability. I feel like sometimes we just want to crank out a sweater so fast and, you know. But I also see, like, each one of these are going to be a different chart. Maybe a different chart as you go because they're different, right? I haven't looked at the pattern, but... Or maybe not and a like different And, like, putting chart. together a palette, But, right? like, each little section you see is almost like a stripe. You can totally, like, customize each yeah. section. Yeah. And have, like, a wildly gorgeous colored all-over sweater. Maybe one time we'll have to do a knit-along where that's what we're doing. All like over color all work. over color work sweater. Even if only five people want to do it with us. But it might yeah. be really fun to, to do that as a group. Oh God, I love this. Although, if you're looking to do that as a group... Patricia, who is nitography, mm -hmm. she does classes like that. Not only the mittens, does she? full sweaters. Maybe I'll join. Yeah. And so you get, you you pay because it's a class. Who am I kidding? I'll never join. But it's it's on videos. Yes. So you get to watch them on your own time, but there's a group. And then she does live Zoom check-ins where you can yeah. ask questions or just see everybody that's knitting along with you. Perfect. They're unbelievable. So she started those classes during COVID last year. I took a couple. I love them. I would still love to take them. I should think about it and see what she's got coming. Laura suggested we do that in January. Laura, we'll think about that. We're going to put that in our pocket for now. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, I would love it. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I love having things to show when we do our videos here. And sweaters like that, you know, they'll take a while. Yeah. But still, we can, you know. And you only have so much knitting time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Yes, Marie Wallen has a bunch. Although I did hear sometimes um, they're uh, not they're poorly written. That maybe a little bit more experienced. She's knitters. an incredible designer. Yes. Her work is incredibly and beautiful. Um, and I don't know about that. I've never. Knit. I had Marie a little Wallen. bit of feedback. I mean, 
that's, I mean, I went down a rabbit hole with her patterns. Right. They're incredible. She's so good. Yeah. Her patterns are crazy beautiful, and she's got a yarn line. I don't want to imply that they're not good patterns. I, I certainly want to no. stress that. But maybe someone with a little more experience, that wouldn't be your first color work Maybe sweater. not, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So the, yeah. there's definitely that kind of yeah. writing, right? Where they're writing to a beginner or writing to someone that you're assuming they've got a certain amount of experience. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Okay, I saw this. I totally want to knit this. Okay, Tracy. This is Camilla Vad. You guys remember I knit her one of her sweaters. This has uh, this has been out for quite a while. This has Which always this caught one? my eye. The Agnes, yeah. The Agnes. But just that you knit Esther. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, so beautiful. She also sells yarn. Yes. So if you love her color pattern, but I just love it's almost like a capelet looking like she's wearing like just yeah. the 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 solid band of color. I love it. Don't you love it? Yes, that? so much. Her patterns are beautiful. Yeah, that one caught my eye, and I really did want to knit it. Okay, I got to show you guys something. I especially love the way the dark, the it, she starts with the dark, and it kind of flows down like that. I really love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I do. I think it's really beautiful. So she had, she had a sweater. This is crazy. Her Instagram is incredible, you guys. Who? Camilla Vad. Camilla, Camilla yeah. Vad. It is so darn beautiful. I actually still want to knit. She has that, is it the glare up? It's all over color work, mostly all over. And she did it in Magpie Fibers. Look at these. This one. Um, No. I think it's, anyway, it's all over and it was kind of a. Look at the stripes. Oh, the stripes are so good. I'm sorry. You were looking for something. How about that? Is that the one? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Totally want to knit this one. And that palette. So she did that. I think she did a palette in her yarn, but I believe it's done in Swanky DK. Like there were kits on the Magpie Fiber oh. site. Oh my God, that's yeah. so good. Okay, so I'm going to find it. Do you have something we can go on with? Yes, I can share. We were going to talk more this week about the new Pom Pom and the Moon and Turtle books that just came out. So these have just been released the fall for the fall. Um, and when we were starting our sweater knit along, I just thought it might be fun to share the sweaters that are in these books and especially, so Moon and Turtle, I feel like this is a really, really, really special book. Um, it is designed by twin sisters, Kiyomi and Sashiko Bergen, who happen to be Canadian. I feel like totally out of the loop that I did not know anything about these ladies. And I would, they did a in-person event, um, at Buku this weekend. Like there was a live launch for the book and you could go meet them. Oh, that would have been And fun. there was a Kara Yarns was there. It, really cool. But in what, reading their Instagram posts, it says that they're, am I going to get this right? Mirror twins. Like they've got some organs that are like on the opposites. Like it's kind of a thing with twins. That's wild. Very, very cool. But obviously, you know, they do design individually, but this book is a collaboration. And I, I think they just hit on something so good. They want their patterns to be for everyone. Can be completely gender neutral. Gender neutral. Yeah. Choose your colors. And I mean, whether I think I don't know, I haven't read it to the point where they give you they give you options for like short sleeves, long sleeves, add ribbing, don't add ribbing, like Collar, cropped. So even just the one pattern, you can knit over and over and get completely different results. Um, oh, I love this so much. We cannot say enough about this book, you guys. But it's more than sweaters. So yes. there's hats in here. There's shawl. I think there's... The hat is super cute. That's what I thought I would start with. Isn't that great? Yeah. So if you're looking for a new sweater book, and this actually, when you buy the book, you get a download code for a digital copy in your Ravelry library. I know that's a lot to, to produce a printed and the digital, but let me yeah. just tell you to have the digital is amazing. Right. I actually love the book. I love to flip through the book to get inspired, but I, I usually print my pattern. Yeah. And, and then I write on my, the top of my pattern, like my needle size and my gauge and because I'll never remember that. No. I will never remember that. And I do want to put it in my Ravelry page because I will never remember that later. And someone will ask and I have no clue. Um, look at their beautiful ribbed shawl. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. 
Their design aesthetic, I think, is absolutely beautiful. I thought this book was fresh. I thought it was a really new take on, um, you know, just the whole world and what it is like today. And just their take on these patterns and the, the oh, that is. It's so, a double layer hat. So, so you cute. start, I don't know where you start, but you end up doing two of these funny little loopy thing and you shove one up inside the other one and you've got a double thick hat. Wow, I love that. Their take on this general gender neutral idea that you can knit this sweater and customize it for anybody like, is amazing. Same pattern, different yeah. yarn choice, and it totally works. You didn't have to change a thing yeah. other than your yarn choice. So it's very exciting. If you're looking for something kind of new and fresh um, and certainly designers to support, I can't get over this. Mm -hmm. I love what? I think that was a, sh anyway, oh, it was a bit of a chart, nice. but. Um, the stripes. Yes. Oh my god. This gosh. is the same sweater, you guys. That's what we mean by collars and stripes and sleeve, like and the short sleeve. Yes. Um, and this cover one, I do believe they are running um, a knit along for the girls. The ladies are running the knit along for that sweater right now. Oh, where the heck is? Oh, frick! They've got socks too. Oh, I didn't <gasps> see the socks. The socks are so cute. Those are cute. Oh, they are cute. I mean, really, really, really. Like you say, fresh. That's such a good yeah. word for this. Oh, I'm definitely knitting the socks. I can't even. Oh, and they've got a beautiful cardigan in here. They've they've hit it out of the park. Their first wow. publication. Yeah. Okay, just a sec. Look at that cardigan. And when Cables can... up the front and a little yeah. collar, like a real <laughs> collar, not a band, but like. Oh, that's cute. You okay, that this is Look this is that. awesome. This is their this, <gasps> this is, is their, the knit along sweater. Yeah. I can't wait to see people's combinations with this. And you could just do like different textures. Like you could do Surrey as a stripe. You could make such fun. Oh, see, like there's there's sort of a bold, fun color combo, and then here's more of like a. Mm. Can you see that? Yep, the gray one. So sort of like less bold, but really a totally different feel, a little more romantic and almost neutral, but not really neutral, not boring at all. Oh, look at the swatches. So this is showing how they've swatched in the round. And, and when you're doing, you know, it's the most accurate way if you're knitting in the round to swatch in the round, which is and really no great. Purling. Zero purling yeah, and no it. ends to weave in. Okay, this, <laughs> I love this this piece is amazing it's a knitted hood it reminded me of max's cowl in the way that it looked but this with is the like, drawstrings yes but i love love this listen there are places in the world this is going to make a big difference i actually thought even for people that just <gasps> look at that i would knit that even for people that like take the bus and you're waiting for the bus or you know, you know, students or and it looks super cute. And you with can it pull it. This is it pulled back. Yeah, it looks, looks like cute. a hoodie, yeah. right? But that's what it looks like. And does it have that little? It's got that little ribbed portion in the front. It's really cute. See this little ribbed part of it here? Absolutely, I think super unique. Yeah, I can't wait to see people start knitting that. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful book. And the hat's crazy. The hat's beautiful. The hat is awesome. We do have maybe a half a dozen copies left. It's, yeah. It sold really well. We, you we, can buy it online in a digital version anytime you want. Yeah. Um, but I think the patterns are really cool. And I'm going to cast on something. I just want to knit something out of the book. Um, actually, that stripey sweater, Jody is totally calling my name. It's amazing. Even in a short sleeve yes. or just an elbow length version where you would plan to have a t-shirt underneath all the time. I love a really fitted long sleeve t-shirt under a sweater. Like yeah. That. Well, like, just like this guy's wearing. I want to look like that guy. Yeah. Oh, you will. Pretty just much. Just like it. Um, and then if you're ever, if you're looking for more new beautiful sweaters, of course, Pom Pom itself has so much inspiration. It's so beautiful. And... This new version, this new um, fall pom pom, has a feature on Kristen French, Caitlin <gasps> French. Sorry, Caitlin French, who's a Canadian artist, and she is she makes her own incredible dyes and stuff. Like she's very, she would be very interesting to have a conversation or listen to a talk on. She's her. super super. Yeah, she's doing lots of this natural dye. Anyway, she's showing you making your own um, charcoal. Yes, 
Yes. So not only amazing patterns, but really cool articles. Pom Pom's always been like that. Yeah, this new fall did not disappoint. It's got really gorgeous Sweaters patterns, you guys. Are crazy. Yeah. The cover cardigan is so beautiful. Yeah. Um, really, really gorgeous. And I'm excited to see the new Lina that's coming out. <gasps> that green one is amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. I so love much that. inspiration. Does anybody else just want to knit like every single sweater now that fall has kind of come, almost come? The headband. And then there's a beautiful hat for smaller projects. Anyway, this is the new fall pom-pom. Again, you do get a download code. Um, and we are this week, we are giving away two copies of Moon and Turtle and two copies of the pom-pom. You heard it right. So you will eat, you'll get one of each. You get one and you get one. So we're going to have this giveaway in Ravelry and I'm sure we're going to have to add a skein of yarn because, you know, you might want to knit a hat or something. Um, so that, thank you, Pom Pom. Pom Pom sent these to us. We were already super, super excited mm -hmm. to get, you know, to buy it ourselves and to, to knit out of before they came out. But um, we thank have, you, Pom -Pom. thank you, Pom Pom, for being so generous and what gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous things that are inspiring yeah. all the knitters right now. Yeah, love it. Okay, I have a couple things I saved. Who am I? I don't know. This is the sweater I was talking about. It's called, what do you, how do you pronounce that? Regitized? Regitized? Definitely not, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You guys, this is the pattern that was, she was sneak peeking last fall and it never came out. Isn't that crazy? This is it because it's got like, it's she's that's knit. really pretty. This is the same sweater. This was so, so two tone to sleeves. Me. Yeah. Wow. But that was knit in two different palettes. But didn't you? I love that yeah, color work. There. That's really pretty. Yeah. It never came out, and I messaged her, and she never got back to me. But whatever. This I don't know if this is. Oh, out. I love that. I don't know if it's out yet. It was just test knit. It's called Badger and Bloom. I saved it because I thought you would that's love it. That's really pretty. How amazing is that? Uh, gorgeous and 10 it's out got, of 10 it's oh there tracy it's got it on the oh yes oh yes i love it so i didn't check i didn't do my research so when it's available or if it's available and i super love the black and gray i mean it would be beautiful in anything but i just feel like just like this with the black i know it's gonna like seamlessly work its way into I what i already have in my so closet beautiful but any color that makes you happy and one more thing scrumptious pearl you you guys wait for it scrumptious pearl added a soft striping 20 gram advent i wonder calendar. if it's still for sale it I was if... this morning first okay. thing but it, i i want to make because, sure well good i'm glad somebody you checked this because, morning so i am so tempted you by close? this i thought you might have i'm so tempted for by this and toes I even know. i love scrumptious pearl yarn scrumptious pearl colors Amazing Canadian dyer mm -hmm. who we've loved for years. Um, if you love self striping, so you're actually making a little strand, like you're making a little countdown calendar with that. And I do believe the little wooden numbers yes. are from thread and maple. It's kind of like a combo. And you advent get a, there's a bag with it, a cranberry like red like orangey real bill leather bag. Yes, you guys. This is it's two hundred and fifty dollars. That's. Canadian. That's, I was going to say that's Canadian. With, including the bag. But you get all the minis, including the bag, including all the stitch markers. So you'll have this year after year. No, I'm not doing an advent. Um, Not this year, I don't think, Julie. I, I mean, I would like to think that I could, but I don't think I can. Um, But this, I love, you posted about this today. And so I saved it. So we, I, think, I we talk think about it. it's amazing. Yeah. I do think it's incredible. Um, okay, why don't I see it? It's got to be here somewhere. I just, on the tab, I just did shop, and it was one of the cup, first couple of things. Uh, whoops. Did you do that? And it wasn't Shop. There. Self striping yarns. Okay. And then it was like the first. Thing. Oh, stop it. Um, okay, this includes the, it includes the bag? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you guys. And 20. Okay, so there's the bag. Yes. It's like a burnt kind of orangey red. It's beautiful. beautiful. And every leather piece from Thread and Maple is yeah. crazy good. So 24 
little striping minis, I guess. 24 different balls. Yeah. 24 little markers and a skein of natural fingering weight to do the little cuffs and toes accents and the bag in crimson red. But then you guys, you have these little advent socks that you can year, use year after year and put treats in them. Right. Or oh, yeah. use it as a garland or whatever. Yeah. Or you could just put one on everybody's, if you're giving yes. gifts, you could just, and then they hang it on their tree. Mm -hmm. Like there's lots of ways I to do these things. I thought it was beautiful. It is gorgeous. Excuse me. And I can see some colors that I own in, in the garden. Oh like gosh, it's really, so their colors are so good. Love that. Fun, super tempting, super, super tempting. Jody, I'm glad you shared that. Um, okay. So we're back into the fall palette release for Hue Loco, which is really fun and exciting. Um, she doesn't release a new color until tomorrow, but we're going to flash it today. It's and beautiful, it's beautiful. super different from any of the other ones we've already shown. It's called Beatnik. And this is it. What? What does Beatnik mean? I thought it was a... It's like... You know those little, they were like the little, it's sort of like a style of, you know, they would sit around and like snap and the beanies and kind of like, mm -hmm. not like a hippie, but I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But look at the colors in this. Kind of a bluey gray with the olive and browns and little splash of orange in there. I love this one. I, oh yeah, okay. Is, do you, right? Am I right? Yeah. I don't really know what a beatnik. I really don't know what it is. Um, let me. Just, but I know what I picture. It was a media stereotype prevalent throughout the late '40s, '50s to mid '60s that displayed the more superficial aspects of the beat generation. Literally move the beat generation. Literally movement of the late 1940s to the early '50s. Like I always think of a turtleneck, black Literary. turtleneck, and little like. Anyway, I don't That's know. That's exactly what that is. I don't know so I much. I didn't what it know is. that. I just know that okay. this yarn is beautiful. So that will be available on all her bases on Friday. And I would like a skein of DK of that. Yeah. Right? I think that would be gorgeous as socks. It, it is. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, if we wanted to, we could open it up. Like maybe it's a micro no, striper. No, let's not open it. It might be a micro striper. It's gorgeous. Well, those that the colors are yeah. amazing. Come on. So you can get it in mohair. You could get it in DK and bulky and. Um, and then she'll do a 50 set or mini set. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. So thank yes. you, Nicole, for letting us share your secret early. Love that. I do love it. Okay, I did want to show this too because I was stopped in my track. That's awesome. It is a colorwork sweater. It's called Canadian Rocky Mountain Sweater. And I believe I didn't write on here, but I think it's bulky, chunky or bulky. Oh, okay. It's a heavier weight sweater. But look at that, you I guys. I can see people that like live in a like those mountainy areas yes. just knitting and wearing it and it would just be like a first coat. of all it's art yes yeah it's beautiful i just thought this was so beautiful and very unique you're right yeah. the color work is all layered and kind of like geographical mm -hmm. yeah beautiful fun i came across that in my searching i think that's it for patterns for me this week that was tons um okay well I don't have patterns, but I have, so this was fun. Oh, speaking of Scrumptious Pearl, I actually have their yarn to share today. Do you? Um, so Knit Picks reached out. Yes. Quite a while ago now, but our schedule has been completely crazy. But they asked if they could share their high desert yarn with us. You guys. And I didn't know anything about it. So it comes in two weights. It's their 100% United States grown and spun wool. And it is Shaniko wool, which I don't even know what that is. But you it must guys. be the breed of sheep. It's 100% wool. You guys. So soft. This is so soft. The twist on this, you guys, this is going to be. Have the, you guys seen this? Okay, the, I'm holding the worsted. It comes in sport and worsted weight. And this is like. For look, sure, sport. It's not thick like a DK. Look at that twist. Can you imagine this in color work? I color work, cables, any yes. texture. 100 grams, 298 yards. And quite, like, I love it. It feels great. This should be the giveaway. We'll give, we'll give the yarn, we'll give someone the worsted and someone the sport. And then the book of moon and turtle and the pom-pom. Love it. Two different... 
Where's my yardage on here? Where did you see that? Um, on the front, actually. Oh, on the front. 217 and 100 grams. Okay. The worst, I mean, it's beautiful. I would say I would love to knit with this, and I, I would, but I would rather give it away. You guys, this twist is beautiful on this yarn. At, just at first thought, without having to knit with if it. If you want to knit with it, you no, should knit with it. let's give it away. Anyway, it's beautiful. And of course, what I love about knit, knit picks is they're so affordable. Yeah. The price point, and they usually have tons of colors, but this yarn, oh my gosh, I can't believe how beautiful it is. It's soft. Very soft, you guys. Like if it said merino, I would believe it. It's soft. So this Shaniko wool must be another really beautiful, like soft breed. Yeah. I'm so glad they reached out to send this because it's really beautiful, you yep. guys. Yeah. I'm so glad to be able to share this. So it's non-super wash. Is it? Well, it says 100%. Yeah, it US. says hand wash. Okay. You would never guess. No. You're going to think this is so soft that you can put it in the dryer. Don't. Yes. I thought it was super wash for a sec, but then I'm like, no, wait. It feels super like super wash. So if you're looking for it, it's the high desert line. So I'll link. No, not super wash. I will link that page. That color's really pretty. They're all like yeah. so beautiful. Their palette is huge, you guys. Tons of colors. This is, I like, this is like a monochromatic. That's, that's a sweater. Right, right. That's so pretty. Yeah. Or a beautiful hike, whatever. But I mean, the colors together would be gorgeous. I love this. And you get a ton of yardage. A sport weight yarn, like 300, almost 300 meters, That's right? A lot. That's a lot of yarn. Yeah. Um, I should have brought it up. So, thank you, Nitpicks. Thank you, thank you, Nitpicks, for reaching out. I love sharing great price point, high quality stuff that, you know, everybody says, I've heard people say that they like or choose acrylic because of the price point, but I think there are now yarns that are you know wool and you get a lot of benefits from i mean there's no everybody picks their favorite but i think this is a really great option in a wonderful price point i would love to choose colors and knit something out of this it's 18.99 a skein you guys and that's a non that's a hundred percent wool right um that's part that's their part of their palette let me just see really beautiful it feels amazing and it's kind of you know, cool. And if you live in the U.S., it's a hundred percent product that is grown and spun, and yeah, hundred percent from home. Um, I would definitely recommend. Yes, giving your give this color a try. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to say they awesome. it don't have a giant palette. This is their palette. That's plenty. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Oh, those greens. I was just going to say. Wow. That. that pop of purple and these tealies. Yes. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, so someone's going to knit something awesome out of these. I hope, yeah, I hope love you it. guys love it. Hope you guys love it because that it's not going to be mean. It does it. not feel. I'm surprised super, actually. Uh, it feels like super wash. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah, do you have other things to share? I have yarn that I've, I've had things that I've purchased. Really? Is that where you're Shocker. at? I think so. We do have that moose to talk about. Yeah. How did we get, how are we going to get to two hours today? How are we going to get to over two hours today? Well, that's in eight minutes. <laughs> so apparently it's not a problem. Um, and a little while ago, let me just show this one more thing that's don't rush. Show it up. Lots of time. You know, the ladies from um, Village Land Cafe, they did the Canadian Adventure yarn boxes. Yes. Those have a pattern and sometimes it was a shawl. Sometimes it was a sweater. Yeah. You didn't really know what you were getting. They've launched a sock club, a sock really? box. Really? So this was their first one. Oh my God, feel the yarn. That's fun. And it's the same idea. You get a pattern and it is location specific and you get a little picture of the area and you got a really beautiful stitch marker for your socks. This one is from Dragonfly Bay. Look at it's this. mother of pearl. It's really pretty. It's mostly gray, you guys, with this beautiful, That's MCN. beautiful like, blend. It feels it's be amazing. It's, be it's beautiful. Um, Look at that. And then you've got a lighter isn't it mini to go with it. Isn't it cashmere? It I feels like idea. cashmere. Yes. Yeah, sure does. And then you got this pattern. This little um, take a hike sock. Oh, so you got a sock too. That's so cool. So thank you ladies for popping one in the mail. I love these subscribe. You know, and each kit is $35.95. And you get all of this for that. Wow. Which is like basically like the price of the yarn, I would think. 
you're getting all the extras as well. Plus a mini, that's cheaper than the yarn. Like, that's awesome. And Bruce Trail is in Ontario, and it is, I've it been goes there. up to Niagara Falls. That's where this is inspired by. So um, they always share that with you. That's fun. Mm -hmm. They spelt both of our names wrong. Well, we spell our names wrong too. Our names are spelled weird. I'm teasing. I, I mean, I mean, sometimes I don't filter myself. <laughs> sometimes. Um, look, you guys, this would be a great sock bash prize. Totally. So we'll yeah. send that out, and someone will absolutely love it. It's very cool. But if you wanted to look at that stitch mark, perch, it's mother of pearl. It's so pretty. That is beautiful. And it's kind of got that reflection, like the yeah. silvery gray pretty. and blue. Pretty pretty. Um, so nice. But if you want to treat yourself to pretty guilt-free little sock club go for it and you get the pattern like and the yarn that's big amazing yeah. mcm north star yarn company i don't know them but so each month will be a different company and this is an exclusive colorway i don't believe you can get this otherwise that's going to be really beautiful knit up hand dyed in canada yarn yeah love it I love, love it. That. Super fun. Um, I did buy, I didn't realize what I was buying. This is 70 merino, 20 silk, 10 cashmere. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've tried to get this ladies' yarn before. That's gonna and be for you. I don't I don't want it. Thank you. Um, I forget she had a She's color okay. Christmas. Oh no, okay. This is I thought it was a oh yes, okay. Right? No, I was thinking about a Canadian lady. That had a color. This is stunning. The yarn badger. She did an advent <gasps> skein. Pre or oh. sold One, out. Two. What? See the thing. How is, many advent calendars Tracy, did you buy? Talk to somebody else right now. <laughs> no judging. Buy it. I want to see it. This is it, Tracy. Okay, so yeah, beautiful. Her colors are beautiful. This is the sock I just gave her. This one? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Double rainbow? Yep. Joey, Double rainbow you is need back. to crank this on your machine. I'm not taking it. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. It. Yes. Okay, the silk and well, cashmere. You, you guys, this is like the swankiest socks ever, but also really strong. 20% silk. You can light these on fire and they'll <laughs> still work. You can walk on glass and you are not going to get a hole in your socks. It's we can throw it. We can also throw it in the... It's a really pretty color. It's very beautiful. Like, it would be a beautiful prize, too, it's because it's and that, such a fancy and the, yarn. And that we can do, too. We can throw it in the prizes. Jody, I love it. Yarn Badger. She's beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. God, self-stripping yarn is a total addiction. Yeah. I can't help myself. And I don't want to go to a 12-step program. Um, let's show the moose. Okay, you're going to talk about it. Oh, am I? Is there something I can read off of? No, so, I mean, it really we, is. We, we know this. Yeah, we had a viewer reach out, Trish, yeah. and tragically lost her brother to heart disease. Way too young. Way too young. And it was like, um, it was like shocking. They had no idea he was, like, it was, Devast anyway. It devastated yes. the family. So they decided, what can we do in Trent's, Brent, Brent's, Brent's honor. honor, and they decided um, to work with an artist and they've come up with uh, Brent's moose. This is really fun. Yeah. So we did post about it on Instagram. So this is... Oh, I love it. I love it. Like, don't you just love the print? I love everything about it. This is... Dallas LaRose is the art artist and was a very, very close friend of Brent's. So apparently you can see Brent in the eyes of this moose here. But what they wanted to do was raise funds for the Stollery Children's Hospital here in Edmonton. It is a huge, <clears throat> huge, we're in it service people internationally for a long time. It's an amazing hospital for children and their families mm -hmm. with, you know, heart disease and everything that you could possibly imagine. Um, but they specifically wanted to raise funds for the mental health side of things because it's completely underfunded. Youth, kids specifically, kids and youth in trouble. Right. And dealing with mental health. Right. So for them and their families, and mm -hmm. it's underfunded, and my goodness, could we imagine a more important it, thing mm -hmm. at this moment, right? Mm -hmm. And how high-risk teens can mm -hmm. be for horrible mm -hmm. results of bad mental health. So they are doing a fundraiser and they had a GoFundMe and we did post the link for that on an Instagram page, but we're going to do, we'll do it again. 
Um, they paid to have these prints made. So the, the art, I believe, was donated. Mm -hmm. And the prints, they paid to make. So every penny raised goes straight towards the Stollery. They have a goal of $40,000, which is awesome. The print is free with a $200 donation. Yes. You can donate two dollars five dollars ten dollars mm -hmm. but if you want the print that is right now that's how it stands that is the print is um it comes with a donation mm -hmm. of two hundred dollars so tracy and i both purchased our own yeah but they generously trish generously donated one for the podcast that we are also going to give away yeah. we're gonna try and figure out a way to do that 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 makes sense yeah and we'd love to just say, oh, let's just give it away. But we, we're we not sure. We may It may be on Instagram and it may be whatever, but it is beautiful. It's such a big size too. I am. I actually am so glad it's not like an 8 by 10 And I love it. I'm framing it and hanging it in my living I'm room. I'm definitely going like, to Like I'm not it. just buying it just because it's a fundraiser right. and it, it meant a lot to do that. Right. I'm buy, I also am in love with it. Right. Um, I mean, I think the reason we had no hesitation in purchasing one ourselves is because mental health is something that's really important to us. Mm -hmm. It is something that many people in our family will would benefit from, mm -hmm. right? Mental health yes. is something we all... So anyway, whether you are able to send um, a dollar or purchase a print or whatever, if you would want to take a peek, we will send, we will put, post a link. Mm -hmm. Um, and who knew that, you know, I think Trish is a knitter and she just thought this might be something we'd be interested in sharing with yes, you, you guys. And it was something we were interested in sharing. We're so. so happy to be able to share Brent's legacy with you and yeah. what Trish is doing to honor him. And we are grateful that, um, she's letting us and do that And she wrote a her. really, really great story that makes you think, oh my gosh, like we totally missed out on meeting. Yeah. Such a cool guy. So They've taken their, you know, devastation as a family and group of friends, and they're doing something really, really great. Yeah. Um, and, of course, we're standing behind that. So thank you again, Trish. And it, it's you can look up Brent's herd on Facebook. Herd, like a herd of moose. Yeah. Um, or herd, uh, even on Instagram. So Brent's herd. Yeah. We'll try and link all of that stuff for you guys. So It's so beautiful. Such a, yeah, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Really fun. Really fun. I just have a few goodies now that I bought. Okay. What about you? Yeah, same. Does anybody want to see yarn? How about this? How do you like them apples? Stop it. Flaccid yarn. It's a little droopy, but um, this was amazing. Yeah. The this... color's incredible. I have to look it up because it came vacuum packed. You can choose vacuum packed for much less um, shipping. Yeah, and then they you can ship it letter You mail. get a flat thing and then you just wrap it around yourself. Okay. So this is our friend, the Wool Baron. Louise, killing it again. Yeah. Look at the neons. Come on. And I think. Stop it. Yeah, it was the colors that had me. It's super summery looking, isn't it? Or just yeah. like hot weather. <gasps> Anywhere in hot weather. <gasps> That's it? There's speckles in between. Oh my god. Do you want to share? We each no, take one. You take it. Jody, I am it's amazing. Actually, I think I meant to give you one. Jody. Just crank a tube. There's two 50 gram skates. I though. know, but crank a tube and then love it. Isn't that fun? Yes, it's crazy. Beautiful. And it's like with her, it's like if you don't see it, it's gone. Because oh. she's that popular. So follow her on Instagram. So she's just just she's neon you know fun. what and she's such a fun person this person this color just goes with what i she, think of Louis. she's hilarious she's very very fun yeah i love it okay let's do self-striping purchases <gasps> oh i love this dun, dun, dun. Cute. doesn't that make you happy yes look at girls? it okay so this is again scrumptious pearl they had already a holiday update in like august you gotta be ready so I was really excited about that. Um, the inspiration pictures were gorgeous. You get the option of which base you want to buy it on. I chose the sparkle. For I'm this obsessed one. with this. It's colorway. gold sparkle. Oh my god, Tracy! It's so gorgeous. This is the gingerbread house color in the um, glam base, gold Stellina. Yes, please. I wanted this so bad, but I didn't get it. 
Jody. Oh my no, god. No, no, no. I got two. I put it away. She doesn't do I know. That's why I didn't. I had it in my cart. I was gonna buy it. It's, it's for so you. Sweet. No, it's not. Jody. I don't fucking take want the it. Fucking yarn. <laughs> yes. Take your ball and shove it. You shove it. And it, Jody, take it. I do. I need another ball. No. It's so good. I, I love it. it. So much. Take it, Thank please. You. I love oh my it God. so much. Okay, and I got the Christmas cactus color, which is amazing. This. When I saw it, I thought Tracy's gonna order. Totally. This. Listen, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So. Again, oh, I love that scrumptious pearl. I used to do their sock club. I does she do it anymore? No. Yeah. No. But that's okay. Maybe later, right? She's too busy winding zob balls and having a baby. Hello and yeah. business and all that stuff. Yeah. So, but the holiday updates are so beautiful. This one, I cannot get enough of the cranberry. This is their um, regular. It's called Christmas berries. This is thirty-three gram mini. Yeah. It's not just a twenty gram mini. So it's 365 meter, oh, four, yeah, 365 meters for the ball, and then this mini. It's a good size. This is called Christmas Cactus as the pair. No. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Georgia, we're podcasting. Wake up, Georgia. Nice to, good afternoon, Georgia. Uh, hi, miss. It's noon, and I'm just getting out of bed for the first time. Have you been up for a while? Mm -hmm. Liar. I did hear She her probably voice. was. She doesn't sleep in very well. Okay, love. Stripes. <gasps> Thank you. Do you want a bag? Yes, thank you. Okay. So, I mean, as much as I think, oh, I'm going to knit these and give them away, I probably will knit them for myself. Trace, you cannot give those away. <laughs> I could. No. Here's the thing. You can always get another ball. Yes. Right? So, but they're totally worth following. I hope you guys follow um, Scrumptious Pearl on Instagram and get their newsletters and stuff like that. Okay. <gasps> What's that? Okay, remember we, I was talking about oh, freckled whimsy? Okay. Her colors are The good incredible. slash bad things about her... She's got clubs. They're amazing. Her color scents and what she puts together yeah. are amazing. I the think The bad so. thing is, is if you request a color, it, it there's... Ex she doesn't do it for a year. But this is this is July 2021. I'm going to bring it up. It's called Fancy Like Applebee's. It's <laughs> so cute. I'm going to show you. What a cute name. Okay, um, first of all, I love the colors in there. Love, love, love. We were talking about it because recently she did a DK club. That did I, you get it? Yes. Good. Okay, yeah, this is beautiful. And I love the pop of, of the blue as the color. Like, she's got, look at all those colors in there. Kind of a little bit of something for everybody. And I do love black and white. Wait, in a stripe sequence she's she's amazing i want to show you this fancy like applebee's colorway because it's it's this was her yarn right. of the month this is the one i wanted but it was a yarn of the month upsy daisy see and i think she's pretty serious about like she is like you need to get in on that month because when it's gone it's gone oh <gasps> this one that's awesome with speckles okay but where's do you have a picture of this one yeah, I'm looking. Oh. Jody, it's beautiful. Oh, I wanted this You're one. You're going to love that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. This she'll be coming back out in November. I asked if she could bring this one back. Not till after October. See? She's got a plan. Um, Gorgeous. I don't see So this one's quite like an older color. Well, oh. I guess a year ago, right? I don't know. Oh, I can, we can kind of get it. Yeah. Idea. Maybe. Is it behind? Oh, no. Behind. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway, follow Freckled Whimsy on Instagram, and I'm sure she's got a newsletter. So if you see a color, right? She's great. I mean, I just yeah, so I love her color. I'm waiting for that to come out in DK. Okay, I have a couple more things to share. I'll share this one. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I'm I couldn't find that. So oh, gorgeous. So. Super crinkly. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, Rochelle of Moondrake Yarn. She got her own dye studio. This is it. No, it's not. Never mind. Lied. Um, and she's just launched a <gasps> new... I'm so jealous. She did. Yeah. Yeah. And she has a new base, a 100% non-superwash Corydale. It's so soft. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Isn't it soft? Isn't it so pretty? What is your intention? A pattern. Oh, you really? Oh, yes. you're so good. So, is it an accessory? Yes. Hands, hat, or feet? Or you neck? tell me. Oh. I don't. It's going to be something. We're not that far. Um, but her, she's amazing. Her yarn is beautiful. This one, I believe, comes in DK. This is stunning. It's really gorgeous. And she's got an incredible palette happening. You're right. This one's Espresso, Dusty Rose, and Slate. Earl Grey. See? And she's got, like, just tons of colors. She's got really beautiful yarns in her shop. This? Nice, right? I'm obsessed with I that. Think color work? Tracy. Cowl, maybe? Wow. Or I don't know. Hat and mitts? Cowl and mitt? I don't know. Amazing. But I feel like when you buy all of these skeins, you should probably get a, you know, something kind of decent out of it. You could do a beautiful shawl or sweater. But I love, love them. So yay, Rochelle. Thank you for sending these. Now the stress and pressure. Oh, like, like you've committed. Well, I just said to her, I'd lo I would I love, love it. it. Yeah. I would love, no, there's no obligation of course she's so generous I, but then when these show up you just start thinking oh i mean i love it you just can't wait to cast them on this i'm not good with that i'm not good with the pressure of, of those kinds of things. i know this espresso brown stop it and with, with the pink yes. like come on oh my God. so nice so i think i'd even love to do a pair of socks at some point in it because it's just natural do you dream about sock patterns not really dream about them but i seem to have a lot yeah love like that. i do love it i do love it um what else I, have you brought been buying okay this i bought ages ago you guys and we had trouble there was a lost package in the mail we talked about kirby Werby before and how much we love her she did a remix of her advent calendar and just changed how it looks totally different but it's the exact same colors with uh so did she just make the stripes in different order order yeah that is really beautiful. So, do would you knit this, one of these? This, yeah. I mean, this to me reflects Cherie too. Like, like when you look, like wild, fun, bright, rose apothecary, 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 apothecary remix. Okay. So you have one. Are these all the same? Yeah. For me? Yes. Oh my god, I love it. It's a bulky, bulky merino. merino. You guys. Ooh. Even if you knit it for someone like. And look how cool that is. This will knit in an evening. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. And the color. Thank you. The, oh, it's the, so or, soft. The order of the colors that she puts them in. Oh, look. <gasps> it doesn't look the same, but it is the same. It is. You can see all those colors right. in there. I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, if she says it. Yeah, look at them all. 22 stripe. Okay, of course. It's... Yeah, they're all the same. <gasps> what am but... I going to knit? Oh, you could do mitts. You could do a hat. You can do. Do you want two? No. Okay. One's plenty. Oh my god. I'm gonna knit that this weekend. The cutest hat. The cutest hat. The cutest mittens. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of a mitt. Like you could just do short little ones. Or you could do the cuff in another color. Right. Exactly. Ah, <gasps> I love that. It'll be done like that. Oh. Bulky. I'm gonna add this to our sock bash prizes. Jody, that's so nice. Beautiful. Okay. I just have one more. You're crazy. Okay. Um, what else have you got down there? Well, oh my goodness. Speaking of amazing, beautiful yarn, I. So I met Karina of Louie and Lola Yarns through Thread and Maple, through this kit that happened. Mm -hmm. um, and then I ordered some of her beautiful yarn. So she's in wow. Tasmania. No. Yes. Like, she's so far away. Um, I ordered some of her colors. She has a BFL sock that I thought was so nice. I love I love BFL sock yarn. That feels really good. It feels, like, a little toothy and rustic-ish. Um, but she does these beautiful colors. Her speckles are <gasps> very, very pretty. Aren't they nice? This one, like an indigo, it's isn't beautiful. It, isn't it gorgeous? This? Oh my God. Come on, stop it. Let me it. say this. Yeah. <gasps> What's it called? It's called Sarah Ann Rocks. This one's so good. I love this speckly one on this kind of like a sandy colored base. 
Look at this. This is the Rocky one. Sandy Ann Rocks. Sarah Ann Rocks. Isn't that great? Wow. And she also has a merino silk yak base. And that's what these two are. <gasps> oh, those greens. Stop it. You're all about the green right now. I don't now. know what's happening with me. Um, That's pretty. Really nice. And you can see the sheen of the silk on here. That'll be so beautiful for any. This could be, this would be such a nice mm -hmm. shawl. Wouldn't it be mm -hmm. such a nice shawl? Um, but she has gorgeous yarn. So you'll see more from Louis and Lola yarn. Look at that. Are you designing something with it? Yes. You think? <laughs> no, I am. That's I your am. intention. No, I oh, am. Oh, you are. So there is uh, another collaboration fun thing coming up, and you don't have to wait too long. But it is... Um, have you started? I'm not in charge of these things, oh. so I can't say anything. But uh, you will see more of her yarn. Okay. Um, but I love these colors. Like, wouldn't that be the cutest color work, sock, color work, whatever? It is so beautiful. I love those. This fern. This is pur purpley gathering. This yeah. is like purpley, like midnight. -y. I mean, it goes so well with that one. Starry skies. This, you guys, is going to knit up with little blips of stitches in the color. All three, like those three would be something this so is nice. I love the, the taupey kind of beigey background. Me too. Of that one. And she, you know, she's been doing all kinds of, they've got events mm. happening in Australia these days. Oh God, I love that one, hey? Yes. Wow. Do you, is there any you'd like? You have options. No. These are... She said, I'm just sending you, I bought, That's so I bought a few and this amazing package arrived. Um, we'll for sure add some to nice. prizes, but love that. if you have a color you, that inspires you, you should take one because if I'm honest, I don't gravitate much towards fingering anymore. No, but you could crank a tube. That's true. Okay. Everything. You don't have to knit it. We should get something with crank a tube on it. Right. Something. Right. And people are like, what does that mean? I know. Star, how many times have you typed what cranking a tube is? Right? Yeah. Thank you for being here, Star. And I'm sorry we put you through I this. mean, I I could save more. I've got three more things. Or I could save it till next time. No, but I think we're going to just do like it. I've had them forever. So Northwoods Fiber, I have ordered with them previously. I just love a fun, just a fun DK so I could crank some tubes and stuff. Because let me tell you, Mandy... Shane's got three sisters. So if I'm giving everyone socks, she's got four boys. Like seriously, Jody, there's no guilt in stocking up on this. No. Because you're gonna use them all. Yeah. But I just think they're really fun with their colors. And wow. these are gonna be really fun What's the DK base? socks. Is this oh it's 75 25? Yeah. So they're gonna make really nice socks. Right. Oh my gosh. I just thought I would just get a, a spattering of different colors. Stop it. That's going to be really fun. Right? Yes. But then look at this Oh, one. that's amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. This one's called Supernova. It's very dark and dreamy, galaxy-like, right? Yeah. I love that. So North, um, Northwoods Fiber. That's amazing. It was hard to choose. They had a lot of colors. This is their Hemlock DK, 245 yards, 7525. Yeah. Supernova. Sun kissed, Mai Tai, electric, eccentric, etc. That's really cool. Yeah, this is going to be really pretty. Are you going to do black for that one? Yeah, maybe, right? Who knows? That's fun to just choose yeah. the, the things. Um, I was going to crank one of these as a tube today, and I just ran out of time, but maybe this weekend. Um, I bought more color mix <laughs> sock from Yarn Hero. Hashtag I'm obsessed. Hashtag I can't stop. Seriously, I do love it. Hi, Amsterdam. Um, her her yarn's so good. So this is an eighty percent superwash merino, twenty percent nylon in That's this really fun. marled style, like that, hand spunny style. That orange and blue. This one. This one's called Daydreamer, which I just thought would make such a beautiful. Again, I've been sort of thinking for gifts, but who the hell knows? Because they're so nice. Just, so this is sport. No, this fingering. is fingering. Okay. This is her sock one. Which you means should. it will stripe. It will give you kind I of can't like wait to see. short color blocks that will fade into each other when you're knitting a small okay. circumference. This one's called uh, Sea Turtle. That's really beautiful. So it's really, that one's going to be kind of 
not super contrasty, right? Like it's very. And not everyone loves that. But it's still going to be yeah. really nice. You will see. This one is more. really. I just, more so. So pretty. It's got yeah, quite lots, lots of first. colors. I Yeah, totally. Um, and then this one is called Vegetable Garden. I feel like Jeff needs those. Songs. Aren't they nice? Yeah. So again, you get tons Beautiful. of yarn on here, 385 yards, 80, 20, merino nylon. It says heavy fingering. Sure it does. It's what it says. Yes, it does. So I love it. I think this is something you could use for lots of those color work patterns that are out there. Um, but it's also just knitting a vanilla sock and seeing the change in the yarn. You don't have to do anything. It's going to have lots of colors. Let the yarn shine, right? Like just step aside. Yeah. Just let it do its job. Spotlight the yarn only. So I, I've been collecting her yarn. She does DK. She does sport. Yes, you do collect her yarn. Oh my God. I just have to get busy cranking tubes and knitting things. I just think I really do want to do color work at some point. Yes. With like a total solid contrast. You need with, a sweater like that. that you know what you should do? Did you knit Andrew Mowry's throwback? No. You should knit that one. I should. The cardigan. And I steaked mine, remember? I even like a pullover. I do yes. remember you steaked that. Because she used Spin Cycle, which is stunningly beautiful. Yes. But this will give you that same. Yeah. So this gives you that similar look, um, different price point. I think the skeins are bigger. So it's just a different. Mm -hmm. But she has this milled. It's their yarn. It's So it's kind of awesome. I mean, Spin Cycle is their own mill, which yeah. is really cool, too. They dye it in the wool and then. I don't know anything about how this yarn is made. It results in gradients of random striping colors. Cool. No two skeins are exactly alike. Yeah. So super fun. Uh, Vincent, tell your coworker to mind his own beeswax. His coworker came in and said, what are you watching? If you loved us, you would have been here two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> if you really cared. I have one That's okay. More I mean, thing. as if people don't have J-O-Bs, right? At okay, least good. You do. Vincent's on his lunch. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, can Speaking you not of lunch, Thursday I'm getting off? hungry. Getting and hungry. this is ridiculous. Who talks this long? Ridiculous. When we talked this long last week, I'm getting a sore throat. Yes. I'm um, annoyed. I'm really sick of myself. Denim and rain. Yes. We're obsessed with denim and rain. We've totally. got fun things coming from denim and rain. But um, she does these watercolor sheep, you guys, if you're not aware. Did we talk about these already? Um, but these Very are different good. colors. Show, share what they're all about. Are these ones her yarn ones? This is a print. These are her yarn ones. These are based on yarn indie dyer colorways. Yeah, inspired by. So does that one say who that no, is? No, but you oh. know when you purchase it, who you're buying okay. for. I just bought all of them. They're so beautiful. So they come on. Look at this paper, you guys. It's like I don't know if you can see. It's like almost like a um, watercolor, like an eggshell, like really beautiful yes. art paper. This is a print, but look, it looks exactly like. Um, you would never color. know. Yes. It really does look like an original. So I thought what I would oh. do. What? Right? So that's so pretty. I thought what I would do oh, is I love it. hang I love these, it. get a little black frame, and then hang it in a collage together. That's awesome. Ooh, look at this one. <gasps> and at the very least, I hope people go <gasps> check it out. Oh my gosh. And then you might see your favorite indie dyer reimagined as a sheep. You will, for sure. Because when we shared ours, there was a Lola Bean, there was a Spun Right Right. Like, I think there was a bunch of them. The, de the name of the artist is Denim and Rain. Um, and she's got her own website, but those are them. But you know what she did do? She sent some extra prints. <gasps> so it's not just the sheep, you guys. She does botanical. She does beautiful women. She These does gorgeous. And she does stickers. She does prints. She's that's so pretty. Don't we need a t-shirt in that? Look at this woman. We need a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, I love that. She one. sent a couple extra. I don't know what I don't remember what I bought and what she sent. Well, this is my favorite. So beautiful. I have a sticker been hung. Like oh, look, mat. she sent an extra. <gasps> so beautiful. <gasps> she sent two extra. Wow. So I bought one. I bought this and I bought this. Wow. And these are going to be added <gasps> to giveaways. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll have to put them in nice. I can, I can roll them in a tube even. No cardboard. Yeah, I think that would be better. Look at this. Beautiful knitting women. 
I love that. I love it so much. Yeah, love it so much. So thank you for the generous, um, okay. the generous gift to the podcast. Wow. But you guys, she's an, Sarah. she's an incredible artist. I'm just blown away by that kind of stuff. Blown More away. More to come and, soon. Yeah, sorry, stitch marker. And she does these. Oh, and they're my favorite clip-on style. Yes. Progress Keeper stitch marker. Look at that. You guys. These are gorgeous. actually awesome because... It is the clip, like the hinged earring back, but it's round. This is my So it's favorite. not the oblong, like this is literally a, a great one. It's super light. Yeah. So, and sparkly. Yeah. I love that. She, um, I'll take these home and then I'll add them to any, something one time when Do you. Do we still have those big envelopes? Or I can yes. get some of those big I envelopes. I have some mailers, some cardboard yeah. flat okay. mailers. Perfect. Anyway, Gore just yeah, she's beautiful. Great. Check her out. She's an amazing artist okay. and an amazing person. I actually thought I haven't been shopping very much and I clearly <laughs> I don't even know what's going on because it came a while ago. So you kind of forget. I do forget. But this is Olan who is they are in Ireland. Um but this is a new I believe a new yarn for them. It's 100% fine merino. Um, but it's dyed in the wool. They milled it okay. themselves. The wool is dyed and then it's spun? I don't. Oh, no idea. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I do know that they have the mill and this was milled there for them. Okay. Like it's kind of a special yarn for them. Um, and it was launched through local yarn shops. You ha could only get it, I believe, nice. at local yarn shops initially. Mm -hmm. And like 30 colors or something wow. crazy. Like 25, so many These colors. These are gorgeous. These came from Stash Lounge in Calgary. Oh. So before you even think, geez, should I have bought that yarn? It's at your house because they're three hours away from us. You literally, if it, you catch the mail right, you get it's it the next day. It's so pretty. And it's so, it feels great. And it's got this beautiful twist. And I really did plan on striping these. So this color is your color. You your cho choosing of colors is always so beautiful. My colors are the same. I no, feel like this it's like is lipstick. beautiful. This is Aura, and this is 1987, the year we were born. Yeah, right. It's a great yellow, and I think they had something. I I really love the feel of it. It's a little bit uneven, like it's not super smooth, like. It looks great. I this, love it. This I don't is know. beautiful. Their label. I'm trying to figure out how they get their label on there. It's, it's a grommet. Ethically They're... sourced hand dyed fiber spun in Ireland. There you go. Like, would you still buy it if it said, like, in, <laughs> inhumanely sourced? <laughs> who's going to do that? No, this I'm kidding. Bad for the environment <laughs> and we were really mean to the sheep. We, no. We kicked them when they were down. No. No. Kidding. Uh, no. So anyway, we don't have to worry about any of that with this. It is, it feels great. So if you happen to see it at your local yarn shop or you see it on their online shop, I love it. Fingering weight, definitely. But you could double strand it. I actually, when I bought these, Jody, I was thinking marling. Remember I told you? Yes. Right? Yes. So... I love that marl and then the solid yes. and then marl and the other solid. That's oh what I was gosh. thinking. So I just think these two colors are really fun together, but yeah. they had a beautiful selection. Love that. Yeah. Tracy, these are beautiful. Are they nice? Can you finally show this? This is it's the so end. Gorgeous. This is the end. No, I just mean. I've it seen, really is the it end. It is so beautiful. Okay, this is 100% Instagram's fault. Yes. Gosh sakes. Our friend Steph. Stephanie, the creative knitter from Ontario. I can't with this color. Who is crazy rainbow lady. Yeah. Not crazy, but like she's wild and amazing with her rainbows. She's just been dyeing all kinds of stuff. And her newest color is Blackberry Jam. It's very dark. It's kind of like, it's this color. Like when it's, I go close, it changes. It's this color. It's incredible. It's so good. She posted it on Instagram and I just happened Ooh. to be there at the time that it happened. And oh, sure enough, gorgeous. it sold out in like three minutes. Did it? Yes, but I managed to get some. And her base is a 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, but it's that like super high or low micron. Like, it she feels like cashmere. Like the 17 micron yarn. It's so soft. Yeah. 
Where did she say seven? No, I think it's 17. I <laughs> don't really know. Um, All I know is it feels like cashmere and it's not. So this is her own blend, I believe, that she, she worked with oh, the mill with that. that. Yes. 120 yeah. grams too. Yes. 415 yards. It's yes. beautiful yarn. She's a, she's a great person. So, and then I put it in my Instagram stories and she said, oh, thanks for sharing it. And she said, I'm actually dying that on mohair tomorrow. And I said, <gasps> Can you, you can you invoice me for a mohair? You had me at mohair. And so this is it on mohair. So it's mohair and silk. Totally takes the dye differently, right? It's quite quite light actually, washed out comparatively. So that's that is that is what they look like together. But it, I it think would that's look really really fun that it's again, it'll look mottled yes. and and you'll see the lights and the yes. darks. Um or you could stripe something. Yes. Or Tracy, you could just like pet it. Don't you think after seeing all this stuff, like there's not enough hours this in the color, day. This color. Well, and now that you just can canceled coffee on really, us. Really, really excited. You better be working all I am. morning. <laughs> I'm sleeping in. I'm going to Ikea. Um, um, it's big. It, here's the thing. For me, I feel like this is the last weekend before everything is back in full force. Like Maddie's back in school. She only has two days, but... Like, I just feel like this is like the precursor to summer's done. Yeah. You're Labor back day. to like, right? Yeah, like, it's going to be busy again. I feel like other, if we're not home is the only time we're not busy. Right. I guess you're right. Everything's always But busy. yes, it is a it is that weekend. Like, enjoy your last weekend because it's all. Because after day. that, it's, it's going to be awful. <laughs> totally. So Can have guys, fun Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um. Steph did an amazing job on this. I don't want to take away from that. That's gorgeous. Well, it's really pretty. I love a dark moody. Oh, Tracy. It's kind of like she calls it blackberry jam, but it's like for you red wine drinkers. I feel like it's whatever. Yeah. Too. Um, <sighs> it makes me want to like, it makes me want to knit something. Makes me want to knit something. We forget. That. Jody, I'm going to knit that bulky hat today. Are you? Yep. Well, now you're making me feel bad that I'm going to work tomorrow. You should work tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. I'm Do not you? really making you feel bad. I'm just, you know me. Cancel? Great. I'll stay I, home in my pajamas. I feel like I'm behind. Then it should absolutely be. Because I have a deadline. And like, where did August go? And now it's September and this these things have to be yes. done by the end of September. We have coffee on Saturday. I know. We're good. We're good. Um, I know. Was there anything Yes, else? I'm definitely working tomorrow. I promise. You're allowed to take the day off and not do anything. Okay, guess what? I'm ordering fish and chips for dinner. From where? Joey's. They have such good fish and chips. From up the street? Uh, Like in Terralosa or whatever. Like yeah. Joey's only. Like it's a fish yeah. restaurant. So good. We haven't had it forever. Jeff, it it's up. one of our best skip the dishes we've ever had. You're kidding me. No. We love it. Haven't had it for a long time. You get those giant bat beer batter. But you need one. You only need one. So good. Um, I we had Chinese food last night, and I ordered a separate wonton soup for me for lunch today. Mm, that's thinking ahead. Yeah. Um, hello, South Africa. I just saw a comment that said you're in South Africa watching us. That's insane. Oh my God, is it Sunday in South Africa? <laughs> is it the end of September? Um, that's thank you for popping on. Wow, what time is it there? It must be like Friday, late Friday, right? It's actually, it goes in time zones up and down. So it would be like, wouldn't it be like England kind of? Italy? I don't know. If I'm looking at I a map. Know. I think it would be, C I think if I'm guessing it would be evening. Oh, oh she says 8.30. It is, it's 8.30. Okay. So you know how you think it's yeah, far yeah, away, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it yeah, goes yeah. in time you're zones You're right, like that. you're right, you're right. Andrea, we'll start again. Right. Oh my gosh. I'm already sick of myself. It's Thursday yeah. night. Oh, okay. Are you knitting? right now um miriam wow this is crazy if anybody has a quick question we're here but we really we really i look at our videos and i see it comes up it was like two and a half hours and think to myself what marg is in scotland could they possibly have to <gasps> say new zealand 6 30 a.m it's friday um maybe if we if we oh that's what i was gonna say our masks 
We're, we're having masks back tomorrow. Yes. I didn't stop in wearing Edmonton. Mine, I never did either. But they lifted all mask mandate everywhere except we for... We are in a crazy province. It's awful. It's, it's awful. The it's the worst in Canada. We have a terrible premier that is just... I don't even want to get started. He's horrible. I actually think he might have left. Like, do we have a premier Apparently anymore? he came back. He was on holidays. But he's... Like, I... You know, the last president of the United States had no guidance. I feel like... The same is happening. So our city stepped up and said, our COVID numbers are going through the roof. The ICUs are full. The doctors are upset. We are putting our mask okay. mandate in for the city, but it needs to be for the province. Guess what? This is really pathetic. Our doctors have started doing um, updates to the communities yeah. because our premier doesn't. And the minister, health minister doesn't. That's I come embarrassed to say I'm a part yes. of Alberta yes. in that respect. Yes. I mean, I love where we live. But that's really embarrassing that it's that bad. How many chances do you get to handle a pandemic? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. beyond shit the bed. Yeah. And doctors, when doctors say, where am I going to put pe these people? Because people are getting so sick with Delta mm -hmm. that they're, many are in the ICU fast. Here's the thing. And doctors are saying, where are we going to put them? If they don't know. What's going to happen? You're starting to hear these really tragic stories of people like a, I listened I, a cancer woman, a woman with cancer was so ill waiting in an emergency room that needed a bed, but there was no beds for her because right. it was filled with fucking unvaccinated COVID patients. Right. So these stories are starting to come out that it was like 100% preventable. Yeah. Yes, Jody. It's, and people walk around Edmonton without masks mm -hmm. because there's no mandate. Do you have the ability to look at the numbers and see the day the mask mandate was lifted in Alberta, the numbers started climbing. So People now, start gathering yes. in large spaces without masks and they can't figure out hmm, or choose, choose to ignore mm -hmm. the fact that, and just because you're vaccinated, walking around without a mask there's a lot of people that are very ill in that situation. Mm -hmm. You need a mask. We all need masks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it gets me really, really. So upset. now all these, now everyone's got to go back. They should have never lifted the mask. Meg. For sure. in we were down to a hundred cases of COVID mm -hmm. in Edmonton. Less. We were, like, in a we city were double of a million digits. people. We were down to one percent mm -hmm. positivity uh, rate mm -hmm. when they did testing. We are up to 13% positivity rate, and I don't know how many. Like, we got over 1,300 cases in Alberta yesterday in one day. Not a weekend. That used to be a weekend And number. so you know that spiders or, like, just, like, that's just, like, it's like an iceberg, right? Those ca And those people have been walking around infecting everybody. Yes. So please just be safe in what you do. And, and, and if you are not vaccinated, I would really love it if you would consider being vaccinated. It's... Yeah. If you're able to get a vaccine, yeah. it's the, it's what's gonna it's what's gonna make a difference. I think we're gonna have for to everyone. Move. Where? Right. I mean, I feel like it's pretty upsetting. Yeah. Okay. Stay safe. This That's was the fun. Thing. Stay safe, everybody. Knit lots. Two hours and thirty six minutes. It's ridiculous. I can't even. I was actually worried we get to an, an hour. That's okay. That was fun. It is fun. It was fun to, it is to fun. hang out together with all of you. Yes. And it, um, is. it is. And it's really nice to see you. <clears throat> people that are able to join us in the middle of the day. I can't never believe that there are people that can do that. So thank you. And thank you for coming back later. <clears throat> I, I honestly, I've talked myself into some laryngitis. <laughs> we talk. Who have. talks this much? No, nobody. Um... But you guys really bring sunshine and light to us. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you get a little bit of that in return. So get ready to cast on a sweater. New sweater, knit along. You're going to see that in Ravelry. September, October, November. Um, we can't wait to see what you're going to cast on. Maybe you're going to do your first sweater. Maybe you're going to knit your 30th or 40th or 200th or whatever. But you can have some fun with other knitters in our Ravelry group. There's so much support there. Um, Jody's always commenting, so show us your sweater. Jody will go in. Where do I go? <laughs> I'll send you the link. Okay. This was fun. It brings us joy too to do this and hang out with you guys, and it totally. just it just kind of fills your pot for the day. Join in Hoagie's Fall Knit Along. Yes. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. One more quick thing. Stephen West's oh mystery my gosh. cow. I'm so say. out of it. Next time because 
It doesn't start right away. It doesn't start right away. Stephen West mystery cow. His mystery extravagant. Like what show. are you doing up at 3.37 in South Korea? Really? You need to be sleeping. You rock. You rock. I mean, we're worth it. But really, 3.30, just have an espresso or three or four. Oh, that's an ungodly hour. That is middle of the night. Middle of the night. October 8th. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Knit tons. See you next time.